thank you, thank you once again all for coming. Today we are very honoured to have our SPD from Singapore, Mr. Lawrence Chan, to, for this occasion. Okay, we also have our guest of honour, Dr. Timothy Lo, to be here to us. Okay, and important thing is thank you to the family for coming today, coming together for this special occasion. All right, okay. Without further ado, let me introduce our first sharer or someone all of you should know him by now. You don't know him, something is very wrong. Where is he? Okay, who is he? Someone who has been corporate for more than 20 years, a trainer, a coach. Hey. <laughs> we are, we are. <laughs> okay. Just a while, sorry. Welcome to Live Wave. No, no, not so fast. Okay, okay. Just a while. There's a few a bit of bug on the computer. Okay, here you are. A, Anybody don't know him? But if you don't know him, uh, please, uh, you'll get something from him later. Okay, he's, he's a founder of our Live Well, Live, Live well family. Okay, you share with you how our Live Well family is formed, the history and where we are now. Okay, so let's welcome Jonas Ang. Louder, 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 come on. Hello, hello. Yes, okay. okay. Now, Clapper for one reason. <laughs> it's so that you don't need to injure your hand when you clap. <laughs> but it means it's supposed to be louder also. So let's try that again. Okay, round of applause. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so much better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now you don't need to bruise your hand. Okay, when we ask you to clap your hands. Okay, um, Okay, a little bit of a lag. And by the way, uh, this is, uh, no matter how, and this is life, isn't it? No matter how hard you prepare, how much you prepare, one thing is for sure, you have to prepare also that something will go wrong. <laughs> Correct, no? yeah? Which is exactly, I don't mean for this to be an example, but today all of a sudden I'm showing you an example. <laughs> when everything was fine, we were testing it, you know, from 12 o'clock and then just before it starts, something goes wrong. But that is life. But how do we manage that? We just move on. Okay? So that is what life is all about. That is what life wave is all about. That is what live well is all about also. Regardless of what gets us down, we pick ourselves up and we move on. You all like that? Yeah. Clap for me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, so I just put down here, you know, that um, I'm so grateful. Um, and this is something, you know, that you hear throughout this afternoon. Okay. This thing about just being thankful and being uh, grateful. Okay. For everyone, for everything, for all kinds of situations and circumstances, including the bad experiences. The, you know, including even the failures, because we don't learn from success, we learn from failures. Agree? Agree, right? Oh, good. So every time you all agree, must clap, huh? <laughs> okay, now, um, actually we are supposed to have, uh, wait, wait, okay, I need to invite this Jackie here. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we tried to rehearse this in the morning, obviously, you know, we forgot all the lines. <laughs> I think that's okay. I'll just stop yeah, here. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now, uh, when we formed this group, uh, um, so the question he was supposed to ask me, by the way, was, hey, why do you form this group? Uh? You know, what is your purpose and what is your mission? So I'm supposed to answer this question now. <laughs> okay, so our mission uh, is uh, really, it's just this, you know, okay? It is just to share live wave widely, confidently, and consistently. Okay, so that is, we, we don't have any other mission. You ask me, uh, you know, what are we here for? You know, is it to make money? You know, is it to do that or other? You know, all this is very, you know, is well and good. But in terms of the core purpose, the core mission and vision of Live Well and Life Wave as well, uh, 
the core is this, okay? That we want to help as many people as possible. And how do we do this? That we can help by sharing LifeWave widely, confidently, and consistently. And it's not coming out. <laughs> Wait, huh? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> After the mission, everything goes silent. <laughs> okay, you just, uh, I'm, I'm just going to talk through. You're just going to help me to get the technician. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to talk through. I'm sorry, you know, that, <laughs> that it's, it's uh, one example after another. <laughs> All right, and then uh, what I wanted to say was, okay, what, what do I see, you know, as the opportunity in uh, LifeWave and in LiveWell? And frankly, number one is to generally make a real difference to almost anyone, even to the men on the street. Okay? So there are two words that will consistently come up as well uh, in this entire event, and that is accessibility, affordability. Yeah? So we have a product, we have a technology that is accessible to practically anyone and everyone who wants to experience it. And as well, we... We have it, you know, at a very affordable rate, yeah? So the second part is you not know, to be part of something bigger than ourselves. And we want to be able to share in this movement of really advocating natural approaches to better health and wellness. So the emphasis is on the word natural. And we want to also, um, I suppose, you know, to be rewarded for generally helping people. That is not a bad thing, isn't it? Yeah. So we are generally helping people. Our conscience is really clear and we are being rewarded for that. That is fantastic. And really, it's just to simply uh, make the world a better place. Okay. Changing lives one at a time is our tagline. So this one. Okay, looks like, you know, you'll be seeing the technician more often than you see me here. <laughs> okay. So, what is your name? Huh? We, we need to get to know each other already now. <laughs> okay, look, can okay, you try again? All right, I'm just going to continue on. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, you're not supposed to clap for that. <laughs> That's not my screen. <laughs> A little bit too enthusiastic, right, you guys? Hear what's happening. Ah, oh, it's coming out. All right. Ah, oh, no, no, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay. Okay, sir, don't go away. <laughs> sir, take a seat. <laughs> okay. You know, um, before we continue, uh, somebody always asks to say, hey, Jonas, you know, you should be on stage, lah, you know, because uh, when things go wrong, you know what to do. <laughs> so now, uh, today especially, I'm being too put to the test, to the max. <laughs> okay, now, how do we do this? Yeah, this opportunity uh, that is presented to us. So firstly, we want to be able to help people to realize their aspirations in their wellness and in their life wave business. What we are doing also is we are building a caring and energized community. We want to support people to achieve their dreams, to lead enhanced lives. And for us, relationship is everything. So we want to be able to nurture honest, healthy, long lasting relationships. And all this done with these three words, care, courage, and confidence. And of course, what is also very important that I'm being reminded quite consistently here, uh, especially by Wendy, is 
we must know how to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, very quickly, uh, our journey, uh, just a zip through. Uh, um, you know, we actually started and uh, amongst the three of us here, which you cannot see the faces right now. Uh, hold on. Uh. Ah, okay, can. June, 20, uh, June of 2022, actually, uh, was when we first started the group. And do you know what's the date today? June 22, right? Yeah, except, of course, you know, 22 is the date. Lah, huh? um, so it just jammed again. Okay, maybe <laughs> I just jump in. Okay, how we started. Okay, before 22nd June, actually three of us were looking for opportunities. Okay, we have actually several companies looking for us to be the pioneer of certain products or business. But we actually turned them down until... Our friend here met Liveway, so we start to discuss more seriously, and that's how we are formed. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <clears throat> yeah, so you could see how huh, we had a majority of three when we first started this. Yeah, uh, and by the way, uh, so there's Jackie, there's me, there's also Wendy. Now I just realized that some people don't know who is Wendy, you know. So can I have Wendy actually stand up, please, and turn around? <laughs> yeah. We have one person, uh, let's see now. Yeah, one, oh, she, he's not here today. He's a little bit unwell. But he calls Wendy Mama Wendy. <laughs> yeah. So we were thinking Mama is in what? Mama's son or just Mama? <laughs> okay, all right. So just a very quick run through. Huh? You know, from June to December 2022, actually, you know, it's been very interesting. We, when we first embarked, we said, okay, okay, we just need to go and talk to people. So that's exactly what we did. Any and every opportunity that we had, we go and talk. We participated in what fairs. We went to uh, set up booths, you know, in country clubs. We went to do booths in God knows where, whether it's in coffee shops, whether it is in KTV lounges or whatever, we just sit down and talk. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we started. We even went to the extent, uh, um, you see, you see here, you know, we have uh, Jackie, we have myself here. You say, hey, maybe uh, we can find people to talk, uh, and you know, in golf. So we're going to learn golf. Yeah. So that, by the way, uh, was Wendy's idea. Yeah. <clears throat> and by the way, uh, where, where's your golf club now? We have not been playing golf for the past <laughs> one over years, for your information. Yeah, we've been too busy, yeah. So now our golf clubs are collecting dust. Um, and I recall, you know, that the first few times, you know, that we went to the golf club there, um, you know, we tried to hit, hit the ball, you know, then we missed the ball, you know. But the thing is this, uh, Wendy also clapped, you know. So it's like, hey, you know, she knows that we're supposed to hit the ball. Why she clapped for? So, it, okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> now I hope she knows. Um, okay, so... We had so many things going on there, um, and I tell you, you know, that it was not easy because uh, we spoke to a lot of people, and a lot of people actually did not join us, okay? But having said that, you know, there are some bright spots as well. Okay, so um, in November, which is coming up soon, <laughs> which is damn slow, yeah, okay. Okay, in November, we had our first gathering. Um, and <sighs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, he's back. Oh, yo, okay. Uh, he's not happy today, I tell you this. <laughs> <clears throat> so in November, we had our gathering. Uh, so we said, hey, okay, you know, let's do something um, for our team. And our team, you know, we thought it hey, was growing uh, but when we called for this, and uh, it, it, was a, it was a barbecue that we had. Uh, firstly, it was raining cats and dogs. So it's like, wow, okay, you know, that's interesting. And number two, uh, you know, these are the people who turned up. Yeah? So there was not a lot of people who turned up. Oh, by the way, yeah. Um, okay, now, a lot of them actually, when they did turn up, they didn't stay with us. But this is where... We are grateful for those who did. And one person particularly, whom I call, whom is, not I call, who is my 001, meaning, you know, that this person joined uh, 24 hours after I joined. Yeah? And he was on faith. So it's this guy here, okay, 
who we call Uncle Ronald. So Uncle Ronald is here today with his beautiful wife, Jessie. So can we actually acknowledge Uncle Ronald? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, once 001, forever 001. So you have to always stand up every time I talk. <laughs> yeah, you just don't have a choice. All right, anyway, then we had our Christmas party, which will be coming up soon. <laughs> Yeah, so our Christmas party also, oh, okay, yeah. You see here, you know, oh, you know, we were like, come on, you know, we already have quite a few people, you know, how come so few people turn up? Uh? Yeah, and by the way, uh, out of uh, all these people, probably only about four, uh, the four people are still with us today, and the three out of four is Jackie, Wendy, myself. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we have Philip, you know, who uh, on and off, you know, he, he, he continues to use, uh, which we are very happy, very happy to hear from him all the time. So it really doesn't matter okay, whether um, the person uses occasionally or not. You know, we are very thankful that they are in touch with us because we value the relationship. Yeah. So, OK, how do we finish for the year? Huh? So we finished in 2022. OK, now I would like to speed up, but with all the delays, I don't know how to speed up also. <laughs> Okay, and 2022, okay, despite all these things, uh, we still ended up, you know, with about 250 within our group, okay, fairly decent. So how we started 2023 after that, we had great hopes, okay, we thought to ourselves, you know, that, okay, 2023, new start of the year, all right, you know, we are going to zoom ahead and all this, and, okay, so um, it is also earmarked by two very uh, important events, which I will come to, but let me just show you, uh, so our very first Chinese New Year gathering, 250 people and yet only a handful of people came. <laughs> yeah, you look at the low hay tree, uh, one, and not only that, uh, we also tapao. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cannot finish because there were so few of us there. But at that point in time, you know, there were two people who actually came, you know, to join us for the low hay. Yeah, they came a little bit late, so, and then they had to leave slightly earlier, so they're not in the picture right now. So it is these two people, okay, that in February 2023, yeah, all of a sudden they said, can we have meetings? Can we, you know, we are enthusiastic to know slightly more about this life wave and the team and, you know, all this stuff. And <clears throat> so after that, in our new office, you know, we got everyone together. They brought people um, so essentially, it is Yen and it's Cindy, you know, that I want to acknowledge. And from there, okay, we had so many activities, you know, for that year. We patched like crazy. We went from house to house, you know, we helped so many people, so many people with pains, with discomforts whatsoever. You know, they, they saw the improvement almost immediately, quite incredibly. Now, where is Yen and where is Cindy? Okay. <clears throat> can we... And um, stand up, stand up. Yeah, can we can we give them a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. And from Cindy and Yen, by the way, all of a sudden, you know, so many other gems came out of it, you know. So we had after that Joanna. Where's Joanna? We had Serene. We had Jessica. Did I miss out anyone? Who else? Who else? Yeah, who else is here? I would like to acknowledge you. Okay. okay. So Serene is the one there behind. Yeah, so Mei Ling as well, but then she's not able to join us. So we had all of a sudden, and guess what? Jessica and Joanna are also our speakers. Uh, oh, Mei Ling's here. Where's Mei Ling? Where's Mei Ling? Oh, sorry. Yo, you, you're sitting in front. Oh my God, I tell you. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Then, well, things became really quite interesting. So what you see here is actually our... Uh, what do you call it? You know, it's a, it's a, it, we went to KL. There was a Shine and Dream, our ar aromatherapy mist uh, launch. We, we went there as a group. You know, we had a lot of fun. You know, that's where we felt, oh my God, you know, this is really beginning to feel like a community. We made our own t-shirts as well. Um, so we did a lot of things together. We started doing a lot of things together. Yeah. Um, now, why we're showing this is because immediately we came back, uh, we, we found an opportunity. Okay that they say, hey, let's go and have, you know, some patching parties. Now, these two, uh, you look at it, you say, them terrible, right? Because I created them. Okay? You know how I created them or not? I actually use PowerPoint. Uh, I go and put everything. Uh, then after that, you know, I do a cut and paste. Yeah? So that's the extent of my skill. To the point, you know, that my wife looked at it and said, hey, please, lah. 
this one uh, you want to send out to people. So when, you know, of course, this one you're done already. Then, you know, she said, I help you, I do for you. So she started doing this for me. Yeah, so the more professional look in this. Like, so where is my wife, oh, by the way? Ah, there, my wife is behind, there. <laughs> yeah, so she is the creative, you know, for some of you who received the, uh, the countdown, uh, the seven days, and then I think I had the three days and one day, you know, that very, with, with very funky music, uh, all done by her. Don't expect that I do it, yeah? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> So we had a lot of patching parties. We helped even more people. I tell you, you know, we helped really a few hundred people. So that's exactly what we want. What, what Life Wave and what Live Well is really all about. Yeah. Now, in August 2023, so, this, the, so that's the first event. The, the second event was actually, it actually happened in 2023. Yeah. So in 2023, um, uh, Wendy and Jackie, you know, they somehow, you know, got to know somebody, you know, who knew somebody. That's how the business works. Who knows, you know, some other people. And before we know it, all of a sudden, you know, we have this group uh, that came in. Okay. Uh, and this group, by the way, you know, after that led to us, patching more than 200 Grab drivers, yeah, up till today. So, uh, the two people that you see here, that, uh, you know, these two handsome gentlemen, okay, uh, Peter Jalal and Aspen, can I invite you to stand up? Where are you? Can I ah, escape? I saw you. Yeah, Where you are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, huh? that Yen's group uh, has grown quite a lot. Uh, so she has about 330 people within her group right now. Okay. Asman's group, uh, grab drivers, well, hell a lot, you know, plus, you know, many other people because subsequently after that, you know, we had the Hui Kun who joined. We had uh, many other notable people. Charlotte, I don't know whether she's here. Okay. Uh, under under Asman, uh, there's about 600 people already, you know. Yeah. Under Peter Jalal, the grandfather of grandfathers, Okay. He has about 700 people under him. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And when did they join? They only joined August, September. They only took off you know, between September, October. And yet, you know, they have grown so much already. So I really, really am so grateful to them. Okay. Um, then we had our Christmas and all this. So you, you, you saw our Christmas, right? You know, one year ago. So what did Christmas and New Year look like uh, 12 months on? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this was also done by my wife, not, not by me. Yeah. So you look at it very nice, right? And until now, I still look at it, you know, I say, wow, these ones are so pretty. <laughs> so this is what transpired, okay? <clears throat> On the 29th of December, 2023, I tell you, it was a magical evening. I remember very clearly that it was raining, you know, like you know, oh, thunderous uh, uh, rains and, and, and wind and all this, you know, up till 3 p.m. And then all of a sudden, it stopped. And then from 3 p.m. all the way to the evening, it was nice, cool weather. You know, I've got some videos. If you look at it, you would think, you know, that it is like, you know, in Europe, you know, it is it's really very pretty, okay? So, okay, how did we then end 2023? Yeah, not too bad, right? Yeah, so end 2022, we had like 20, uh, sorry, 250 people. We ended with 1,300 people within our group. <clears throat> So if you look at it, uh, the growth is not linear. So this is what our environment, this is what our, um, uh, our business uh, is capable of doing. It is all about exponential growth. As long as one is consistent, as long as one you know, is really sincere in helping people out. So anyway, let's talk very quickly about 2024. Okay, I know I'm you know, uh, overrun already. Our Chinese New Year, that time, you know, first Chinese New Year, two months ago, how many trays of Lohe? One, right? Yeah. So if you want to measure the growth, uh, it's like that, uh, from one to four. So now all of a sudden, we've got four trays, you know, of Lohe. Yeah. So that's how much we have grown. And uh, some of the notable things, you know, that happened in 2024, uh, it's like our... Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we had... Um, we had this, uh, uh, what is that, you know, we call it a midi. La, huh? So it's neither, you know, a mini, neither is it a mega, so we call it a midi. And yet, you know, we were able to attract, and we had two sessions, uh, and we had, of course, you know, Dr. Tim speak uh, with us, uh, speak, speak for us already. He was the main attraction, of course, our swiker, you know, what can you expect, right? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we had 
actually 350 people attend our talks, okay? So you look at it and say, hey, it's quite amazing, you know, that most of the time the meetings was about 70 to 80 people, but now all of a sudden it grew to 350 people, yeah? Ah, and then something else happened. You're, okay, we had this chat uh, in 12 September 2023, okay, where... Um, I was just called up, I was in the office and they said, hey, hey, okay, a group, you know, just missed the BOP. Okay, so they want, you know, you to do a presentation. Let's go up to the rooftop. So I said, okay, let's do it. Yeah. So did a presentation there. Now, so what transpired from this? Uh, there were few people, but notably, does this ring a bell, you know, for the people here? Level 55? Yeah. Those, uh, ring a bell. Uh, those ring a bell, please. <laughs> Who am I talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm talking about... <laughs> Mr. Desmond, yeah, and Mr. Desmond, they, who's sitting here, will be telling his story later on, okay? Uh, it's a very amazing story that you really have to listen to it, you know, so towards the end, he is going to uh, share, okay? Um, <clears throat> but his group, you know, in a very, very short time, it was quite amazing, yeah, because within a space of like one week or two weeks, and all of a sudden, they were like, he was, he became senior director, he had another senior director that came up. Then he had, you know, you know, don't know how many directors. I also lost count already. Yeah, and how many managers are that actually grew within, you know, the two or three period. Okay, two or two or two or three weeks period. So he is a master strategist as far as I'm concerned. So <clears throat> June 2024, where did we end up? So just that's now we ended up, you know, with 1,003, right? Okay, in end 2023. So right now our strength is this, you know, 2001. So within six months, all of a sudden, we added almost 1,000 people, okay? So really, it's all about momentum. It is really all about, um, you know, many other things. Now, <clears throat> so I'm just going to finish up here. So many people and, and Jackie, Wendy and I, you know, we've discussed many times to say, wow, this is really hard work, yeah? Really, really hard work. So is it, you know... Is it going to be like this? So, you know, the whole point is this. Yes, you know, it is hard work. Putting something like this together is also hard, hard work. But one thing which we are all very certain that it's all worth it. Yeah, because it's never about us. It's always about, you know, you. It's about so many other people out there. Yeah. So I just want to end by saying, you know, that 2,000, you know, 2,100 people, by the way, uh, is not the biggest. Neither are we the smallest. Yeah. And... We have very grand aspirations. Yeah? We want to be so many things. We want to be the best. We want to be the choice. We want, you know, whatever words it is. But we all also know that only a small percentage, let's say even of Singaporeans, have ever heard about LifeWave. So as far as I'm concerned, this is just the beginning. Okay? So really, the work starts now. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Jonas. Okay, you stay. Next section is also by Mr. Jonas. You must be wondering what he's talking about, right? For those who are very new. Okay, next section, he's going to share what this company is, what is the technology, what is the product that we have. Okay, thanks, right, Jonas. Okay, switch gear. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk very quickly about um, technology, product, and the company, yeah? Okay, so a very general disclaimer. Uh, LifeWay products are not meant to cure, to treat, to prevent any diseases. It, uh, we do not make any kind of medical claims. Um, if there's any issues at all, do consult with your doctors, your medical, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, the uh, medical experts, okay? So the content, you know, that you see here um, is for informational purposes only. It is not meant to... Uh, sub, sub, be substituted, you know, for professional medical advice. And the stories that you hear as well, it is anecdotal based on personal accounts. So, you know, it is um, a different viewpoint and results would uh, differ from person to person. Okay. Now, why do I put this thing here? Okay, uh, let's talk about imagination uh, very quickly. Who's the one who invented light? The light bulb. Yeah. You know, Thomas Edison, right? Okay. Now, why did, do you not know why, do you all know why, you know, Thomas Edison actually invented the light bulb? Because he had, he imagined that every household was going to be lighted and that there were no issues, you know, with kerosene, with whatever it is. That, you know, at the turn of a switch, at the click of a switch, 
light will turn on. That was how he imagined this. So you remember about this one also, the person who invented the plane was the Wright brothers, right? So again, now what did they imagine? They actually imagined that one day, people will be able to fly, that people will be able to soar like the birds out there, that they can travel from place to place without you know, having to cross the ocean by boat and you know, at the shortest time. And then we have, you know, the car again, you know, so the person actually who, there were a few people, but the person who was, who's attributed with modern uh, automobiles uh, is this guy called Carl Benz, you know, from uh, Mercedes Benz, okay? So why again? Because, you know, he imagined that cars, uh, you know, is necessary because, you know, it's better than foot and better than horse. So, um, you know, he imagined, you know, that people can get from point to point in as short a period of time without, you know, being so exhausted, tired, and without harming animals as well. And also when it comes to the World Wide Web, again, you know, the person who imagined this actually imagined that there should be universal availability of information, okay? So there's this guy called Albert Einstein. He said this, huh? Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited to all we now know and understand, while imagination embraces all there ever will be to know and understand. Okay? In other words, when we talk about innovation, innovation starts with imagination. Okay? When you have imagination, chances are then you know, there will be innovation. So, all inventors are imaginators. Have you heard this term before? No. Don't ever. Okay. Yeah, you know why you haven't heard? Not? I tried to find this. I cannot find. That's why I say this one will only say by me. <laughs> okay. But having said that, uh, you look at it also. Inventors, would they be inventing something that's already around? <laughs> no such thing, what, right? You only invent things you know, that are not available right now, that people cannot even envision. Before it becomes a reality, is where the inventor comes in and he relies very much on the imagination to make it a reality. And you know what? This is where we are so glad that our CEO is an inventor. Yeah, and that's why we are so special because how many other companies out there can you see or do you know of, you know, that you have one person, you know, as a founder, CEO, and inventor? So what was he trying to imagine? David Schmidt was trying to imagine this, that people can and should be living longer and staying younger. So that is exactly what LifeWave is all about. It is all about living longer and it is about staying younger. Okay, so very quickly about David Schmidt. Nah? So he's a scientist, uh, like I said, you know, he's an inventor. Um, in fact, uh, how uh, I'm, you know, why am I so confident you know, that he's an inventor and all this? Because um, some of you may or may not know that LifeWave uh, has not been prominent, even though it has been around for 20 years. But in Singapore, frankly speaking, you know, it's probably only about three years you know, that people started hearing about this, which, which meant that David Schmidt, uh, from a marketing perspective, uh, probably did not do a very good job. Yeah? But that's okay, because you know, that speaks of the heart of the man. What was he, um, um, uh, what was his, addiction, if not his obsession. His obsession, his addiction was this, to help humanity, okay? So, and that's why he preferred to invent things, you know, like the life wave patch. Okay, so he's an inventor. Now, I just want to um, point out this one to you. Huh? So, this is something called the double helix conductor coil, okay? So, this is something that David Schmidt also invented that is patented to him. And this was already patented in 2011. But the amazing thing about this is, in 2011, there was already this device that David Schmidt had that could reset genes expression, that could activate stem cells, and it could heal wounds very rapidly. He already had this. So, talking a little bit about this. Huh? So, DHC coil, um, there were lab tests and all this. So, they actually... Um, did a test and they compared the DHC coil, putting a rabbit there and turning on the machine versus MSC stem cell injection. So it's mesenchymal stem cells. And they found uh, that, guess what? Yeah, the results were actually the same. Okay, for the first seven days, okay, 
DHC coil produced the same results uh, as stem cell injections. So this became the bedrock, the anchor, and a lot of the technology in, G the, in the DHC coil was transferred to our X39. Okay? <clears throat> DHC coil, by the way, you know, uses what they call um, uh, electromagnetic and non-electromagnetic fields. Okay? So light is also involved, and that's why you know, our patch, you look at it, uh, it is about light. Okay. Now, about the company, so the company has been around for 20 years already. We are celebrating our 20th year anniversary. Um, now, I just want to go back, you know, again to 2040, oh, before that. Huh? Um, so if you look at it, you know, different patches were, were invented at different points in time. So what he was very concerned with uh, always uh, was to, to, to help humanity. So at various points in time, there were issues, let's say, with uh, obesity. So, you know, SB6 came about. There was, obese, uh, there was issues with uh, PTSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. That's where Aeon came about. There were industrial pollutions and all, which affected the immune system. That's where glutathione carnosine came about. So every step of the way, he invented things to actually help humanity, culminating in 2019, where this was the absolute breakthrough it was the milestone period for both you know inventions as well as for the LifeWave company but let's look at 2004 so in 2004 how it all started was because he was called uh, uh, to be part of the black ops team that invented the next generation submarine for the US military so he invented this where it was manned by a U.S. Navy SEALs and the first product actually came about because the U.S. Navy SEALs could not remain in that sub you know, for more than six hours without having to resort to uh, caffeinated stimulants and, uh, and, and opioids. So um, <clears throat> the U.S. military asked him, can you invent something you know, for our Navy SEALs? Because you know, they, alamak, after a while, cannot tahan. Yeah? So he did. The first patch that was invented was energy enhancer. So that was 20 years ago and until today it is used extensively and effectively by many, many people. So he was given awards because not only did he invent, you know, the energy enhancer meant, you know, for the US Navy. So we are actually accidental beneficiaries of this product. So he also invented, you know, sleep patches and pain patches where uh, he was uh, given, you know, an award uh, uh, because he helped the US uh, army veterans, you know, with pain management, those people who have got many, um, 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 what's that, you know, uh, injuries, you know, and, and pain to deal with. So he's, uh, the, his research was also funded, you know, by the Science Foundation of Ireland. Um, and the manufacture of our product is all in-house. In fact, you know, it's end-to-end. -end, so we control all the quality um, and uh, the, the supply chain and everything else. All right, so the first group of people who actually used the product was this guy called Richard Quick, yeah? So he decided to try on eight of his swimmers in which six of them uh, actually broke their, their personal best record, yeah? <clears throat> so uh, unfortunately, we appeared in the news for the wrong reasons. Yeah, so back in 31st July 2004, the swimmers who lost the competition, it always happens this way, lodged a complaint against the company to the US Anti-Doping Agency. So we appeared in the news for the wrong reasons. But guess what? Yeah, so the USADA examined our patches. The World uh, Anti-Doping Agency also came to the picture to examine and they found you know, that there was an absolutely nothing wrong with the patches. So from there, all of a sudden, we exploded. Okay? That's where when word got out, all the notable uh, celebrities, I won't say all, but many of the notable celebrities you know, started using our patches, whether it's in tennis, whether it's in football, swimming, um, um, NFLs, NBAs, whatever the case may be. Okay? So whether in the professional field, whether in the amateur field, they started using the products very extensively. Even doctors got involved with this. So the doctors, you know, uh, right now have been using, have been even um, uh, recommending to their patients in the US, in Europe and various other parts for a very, very long time. So we are an advanced technology company, okay, where uh, uh, we are into wearable technology and we have over 130 patents with, and this is one of the, the things that we are very proud of, with more than 80 clinical reports. 
Now, the clinical reports, the research studies are extremely important because we need to show that there is a basis to our science and technology. And in many countries, we are not even classified under supplements. We are classified under medical devices. So why is crit uh, life wave technology becoming critical for us? So very quickly, just want to mention, you know, that now, if you talk about 20 years ago, uh, there were many issues that ar arose. So there was more pain issues, whether it's paralysis, whether it was uh, sciatica kind of pains, whether it's myalgia, like uh, fibromyalgia, polymyalgia. So it's very uh, painful and nerve-related types of ailments. So all these things resulted because if you look back, okay, one of the suspicion here is that that was when chemicals was added to our soil, added to our food, yeah? <clears throat> but now, and for the next 20 years, what we are looking at is actually this, yeah? And why are we looking at this is because you know, while we have the handphones and it's very useful for us, uh, but it's a double-edged sword, yeah? That's where radiation, where, where unhealthy levels of what they call ionizing radiation actually occurs, okay? So imagine this, yeah? That we have uh, Wi-Fi all over the place. We, right, right now, we have electrical cars. Can you imagine, you know, the, num the, the amount of radiation that happens even up to today and you're stuck in a traffic jam going to JB or coming back from JB? Yeah, how much more radiation you know would your body be exposed to in that kind of situation? And have you actually wondered uh, that now there's more and more like Starbucks, coffee bean, and all this? Uh, they serve food, but you don't see any kitchen, right? Because all the food is pre-prepared and they heat it up using microwave. And we know already, you know, the harmful effects of using microwave extensively. And I mentioned already Wi-Fi. Previously, you know, Wi-Fi you could hardly find, right? You know, very hard. Now, whenever, you know, you just click onto it looking for Wi-Fi, oh man, you know, there's just so many. So there's many reports uh, that actually um, substantiate, you know, about the DNA, possible DNA damages. So like this one, genetic effects of radiation. I just want to very, very quickly show radiation has been found to be, so this is just an abstract, yeah? Mutagenic in all organisms studied so far. So you can read from here um, that human beings are not exempted, you know, from radiation's uh, mutagenic effects. <clears throat> and then how sensitive are cells to radiation? This, yeah? So there are so many reports out there that already won. While, you know, the jury is still out there, it is not fully determined yeah, that, that, that the radiation, you know, would cause out the damage. But, you know, there's already very strong suspicion that it does. Okay. So now, for nerve damage, yeah, okay, exercise and all this could help. Um, supplements could even help. But do you think, you know, that exercise and supplement can help with DNA damage? I think it's a little bit tough, right? So we need, you know, to upgrade. But the question is this, upgrade to what? Now, David Schmidt, you know, he mentioned that uh, um, he looks at nature, okay? And he looks at this thing called biomimetics, meaning, you know, that the solution to a lot of our problems are actually can be found in nature itself. So he looked at lobsters, he looked at hyd hydractinia, he looked at this cute little thing called, what is it? Uh? I cannot pronounce the name. You know, it looks like a lizard. What is it called? Yeah? Cannot remember also. Oh, yo. Okay, all of us, you know, need to look at it again. <laughs> but it's a, that thing, uh, by the way, uh, you can cut off the limbs and all this. Uh, the limbs can grow back, you know. It's almost like a lizard. No, not, not planaria. Ah, no. Hi, what's it? Huh? Axolotis. Yes. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, she's the one who pays attention in class. <laughs> Yeah. So <clears throat> all all these things, you know, what he what what David Schmidt you know, actually thought was that a lot of the solutions are, can be found in nature. So then that's why what we are all about here is this that we resort to the natural energy for the body, okay, to rebalance, to harmonize, to achieve a state of homeostasis, that means a state of balance, you know, for the body, all this to be achieved without medications, injections, surgeries, and definitely, you know, no chemicals, no drugs, and is non-transdermal, meaning that nothing even enters the body. We always like to use this term, activate the doctor within you. So now we already mentioned is looking at nature all the time, yeah? So what would be even more convincing, you know, that our product is very natural. It has to meet the criteria of the three Ps, meaning that it has to help people, 
It can help pets, and it can even help plants. <laughs> yeah. So that's what. Uh, even though it's anecdotal, but when it comes to plants, you know there have been some people who say, "Wow, do you know this really helps?" For pets, we, our group, we have a pets group, pets lovers group, okay? And we have seen so many stories that's coming out from there already, how our patches have been helping uh, people's pets. And the other issue is aging degeneration, okay? So degeneration, unfortunately, uh, while, you know, it's something that is in reality, but then David Schmidt asked this question, is aging really... Uh, <clears throat> How do you say, you know, is it really not reversible? Yeah. So he treats disease like a disease. Uh, he treats aging like a disease, which is good, which means, you know, he's looking for a solution for this. Now, the other issue is that when you are, you are, when you are above a certain age, you know, like 60 years old, you know, 85% of them actually already um, use drugs extensively because of chronic ailments and so many other things that develop. So the question that we ask uh, is this, is this, is there a better way for us to help the elderly, those people who are aging already, to deal with the chronic issues that they have, okay? So that's where stem cells also, yeah, which is something, you know, that I want to, uh, that I won't be elaborating so much on, but stem cells is damage also by aging, also by degeneration, and also, you know, by DNA, yeah? Uh, you look here, baby, 100%, you know, but by the time you reach 60 years old, you only have 5% of stem cells left. Now, I'm going to leave, you know, the science aspect of it uh, to be dealt with, uh, you know, by Dr. Tim when he does his science segment. So now, you know, the question is this, can we imagine, okay, that if we could activate our stem cells and reset our organs to a younger, healthier state, can or not? Would that be good or not? Definitely the answer would be yes. Okay. Now, have we also seen now uh, when we talk about degeneration, all of a sudden, you know, there are so many diseases out there that are afflicting younger and younger groups. Also, do we notice that nowadays, you know, when somebody says, oh, you know, this person, this so-and-so person you know, has, has cancer and we don't even need to blink an eye, you know, we don't even blink uh, our eyes anymore because it's becoming so common. Degeneration, unfortunately, is setting in much earlier, yeah? So this is where X39 comes in, where the big key differentiator here is that it is something that activates our own stem cells, where David Schmidt says, you know, that this is his greatest achievement yet, which we have an opportunity to upgrade to because it is safe, non-invasive, non-transdermal, it is drug-free, and it is very, very affordable, okay? Now, the proof is in the pudding, and in this case, the proof is in the patent, yeah? So the patent already says, it, <clears throat> you know, and patent, by the way, uh, you cannot bullshit on, uh, so it, it says here, it produces beneficial effects to a human body, such as activation of stem cells. Okay, now everybody wants to look and feel younger, right? Yeah, so we talk about stem cells already. So how about this technology of ours? So that's where phototherapy comes in. I'm just going to run through very, very quickly in less than a minute. <laughs> okay, that phototherapy, you know, is using light to heal. The clinical term is photobiomodulation, yeah? And it has been around for a very long time already, okay? You know, the baby who has joined this in the hospital, they put under this blue light, if you recall, yeah? But the amazing thing is this, huh? that the human body also emits light, not only heat, but it emits light. So it is this light that is that power source for our body, that we don't need to resort to any kind of electrical, external uh, type of power source because our own body can power up, can be used, you know, to, um, to help, you know, the, 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 the patch, um, um, you know, to work in our body. Okay, so um, David Schmidt also said, you know, that he came up with a way uh, of manufacturing nanoscale crystals uh, and embedding them into a patch. So essentially, how it operates here is that um, though you put a patch on a body, nothing enters the body, but because of the light from the body, it gets reflected, get the, the, the frequency goes out to the patch, it gets captured by the patch and reflected back into the body in an energized form. Yeah, and... We also employ another technology here, okay, to stimulate the acupressure or acupuncture points. 
right? And all we have in the patches is this, nanoatoms of amino acids, oxygen, electrolytes, water, and natural glucose. So all these are very common items put together. That's where chemistry and biochemistry happens. So with that, we are on to our next segment, which is our patching demo. Okay, so... Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay, for this patching demo, may I invite uh, whoever is here for the first time, do you have any aches, pains in the body right now? We would like to do a patching for you now. Any volunteers? Wow, all good, huh? all very healthy. Anyone has a back pain now or kneecap pain or shoulder pain? Okay, shall we invite, uh, okay, one by one, two, Elise and our lady there. So we'll invite four of you, but first two, okay? Come, Elizabeth. I'll hand over to Jonas. Okay, can we have two people? Who's, do we have two? Yeah? Okay, we need the, another mic. So we're going to talk to them. Yeah. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Okay. Okay. So, so now in this in this demonstration, what we're going to do, um, we're going to patch them, yeah. Um, and let's see now. Okay, so maybe you know we can have our beautiful two beautiful ladies here to introduce themselves first. And if you don't mind to share what is ailing you, uh, I I'm hoping no, wrong thing for me to say. I'm hoping you have pain, but that's what I actually am hoping. Yeah. Uh, I'm Susan Lee from Jawbaru. This is my first time here. Uh, I always find my neck is very uh, painful. Okay, so, <clears throat> so the neck is hurting now? Pardon? Is the neck hurting now? Uh, a, a little bit painful. A little bit, okay. So um, we're going to, hold on, uh, can you press for her first? Ah, uh, yes. So that's the part, huh? Okay, so... Remember the same. Yeah, so if you press the other side, no pain. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so we, uh, so it's uh, for how long already have you had this pain? On and off. Uh. On and off. On and off. But today on lah. <laughs> Very important. Today on. Okay. Seriously, because if there's no pain, <laughs> no pain. What do I patch for? You answer the question. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna patch. Uh, sorry, your name again. I'm Susan. Susan. Lee. Susan from JB. Yes. Yes, from JB. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna patch. Uh, this thing called Eon, A-E-O-N, on Susan. Now, you need to drink some water. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we have this next beautiful lady here. Can you introduce uh, yourself? Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Singapore. Okay. And what is ailing you today? Okay. I have very lower back pain for... The longest time, maybe 20 years. 20 years, okay. Um, <clears throat> so most, okay, it's two questions. Huh? Number one, uh, what was this due to? Do you know, is it an injury? Is it? I think giving birth to my two boys. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So after giving birth to the two boys, that's where you were having this pain. Okay. Um, and the second most important question, is it hurting now? Yes. So I think now. Okay, so we're going to, or Jessica is just going to, you want her to stand up? Okay, yeah, yeah. You want to try the... Okay, so we're going to patch... Sorry, Okay, we're going to patch Elizabeth with Aeon as well. Okay, so if you are to press, or, or if she is to press, okay, the two parts, okay. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, so while Elizabeth will be drinking some water, now we're going to go back to Susan. And now, Susan, have, has there been any change? Yes, yes, a bit. A bit, okay. Very important question. When you say a bit, huh, is it like 30%, 50% more? More than 50%. More than 50%. Okay, so? Yeah, more than 50%. Yes, huh? yes. So, sure? Huh? Sure. Very sure. Okay. Thank you for that. <clears throat> now, Susan, do I know you? Pardon? Is this the first time we met? Ah, yes. First time, yeah, yes. Okay, so not pakat one, huh? please. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Even though, you know, I live in Johor for a long time, but I don't know Susan. <laughs> Okay, good. So, are you happy? You know, are you... Oh, by the way, uh, so who brought you here? Uh, one of my friends from Singapore, Jack. Ah, okay, Jack. All right. So, when Jack first told you about this, what did you think about it? Yeah, did you think... Because okay. my sister used before. She Your told sister me it's used very before. good, yes. Ah, okay. So, today, first time, more than 20 years, I take a bus here. Wow. <laughs> Normally, I drive. Uh, today, I take bus. Okay. So, are you happy you came? Yeah, I'm happy. That's why I take my bus all the way, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. All right, so we're going to go to Elizabeth right now. Yeah. Um, okay, so, okay, I think uh, you can go back, yeah. So can we give a round of applause? Come on. Clapper to Susan. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Elizabeth. Yeah, any difference? Very strange, yeah. <laughs> uh, very strange. What do you mean by that? I, I'm a very scientific person. I cannot believe certain things like that. Uh, no pakat, ah. <laughs> okay. But my this side, previously, just now, I sat down. Here, I got pain. Here, I still have a bit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, strange. Okay, so there's been a reduction. And um, let's say if the pain level was at a 10 previously, where is it now? How low has it gone? About 5. About yeah. 5. So 50%? Yeah, yeah 50% improvement. I, I still don't understand how it works. You don't yeah. understand, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, do you have any scientific person here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now this is science. Which, by the way, uh, you're going to be hear a, you're hearing a sign segment later on. Yeah? Uh, okay, so, hey, did we give a round of applause or not? To Elizabeth? No, please. <laughs> yeah, we, have to, we need to do that. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, do we have anybody else? We have one gentleman here, and we have this lady. Okay, please come forward. Okay, we're two gen gentlemen. No problem. Yeah. Come, come. Yeah, we need one more, one more guy or one lady. One more. Okay. <coughs> one more huh? Hey, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Yes, drink some water. Yeah. Okay, so ladies first, lah. Yeah. Okay. So can we have your name? Uh, my name is Evelyn. I'm from Singapore. Evelyn and from Singapore. Okay, so what is ailing you today? Okay, so in January, I had an operation for aneurysm. So okay. the cut was from here to here and here. So ever since then, I have a numbness around my head here and around here. <laughs> yeah, right. so it's still numb. It's still numb. Right. Okay. But everything else works. So the doctor says that's normal. Okay. <laughs> so you they cut the nerves here, you see, ah. to, to get to the aneurysm. Okay, okay. So when you say numbness, meaning that when you touch, there's no feeling? There's feeling, but, you know, you just feel that you're numb. I mean, not, not totally cannot right. feel, but you do have this little tingly feeling like I have now. You see, if you touch my ear here, right, the feeling mm. is different from here. Ah, okay. It's like as though you slept too long on it, right? I Your see. leg numb, you know, that kind of feeling. Right, yeah, right. So I have all that here. Okay, okay. I, I see a patch here. Yeah, uh, Mei Ling, my friend, got me these patches. Okay. This is a, uh, what? Uh, what is this one? Ice. 
X39. Okay. X39 or ice? And then they got the brown and white one, which I didn't put today. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Because I look like an alien. And <laughs> 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 mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's try the Aeon. Okay, so we're going to patch still using the Aeon since um, Evelyn, you have not used Aeon I've before, not used right? The Aeon. So you have not That's used right. the Aeon. Okay. You sure? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. So this part is now. So it's a numbers here. Num, num, num. If you stick okay, it all so over me, I'll look very strange. Okay. Here, here is numb also. Okay, so drink more water, Evelyn. And uh, while we are waiting for Evelyn, this gentleman here, can you uh, tell us your name and what is ailing you? Uh, good day, everybody. My name is Stephen Liang. Uh, I've been a professional uh, diver for the last 15 years, and I'm impressed with your introduction. Uh, I'm here because I have a knee. Uh, I think there's some cracking sound, and uh, at times there's quite uh, a bit of a pain. So I'd like to see what you can help on, on this part. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. As usual, very important question. Is there pain now? Uh, not so. Not so. Occasional hurts, yeah. Occasional, but right now it's not the occasion. Uh, not that it so. Hurts. Not so, yeah. Yeah, not so. Okay. <clears throat> um, now, in this kind of situation, what he may feel, uh, may, because he doesn't have any pain, right? Yeah, okay. So, let, let's see, you know, what sensation, you know, he would be feeling. Uh, so, we're going to patch you still with the Aeon patch, yes. right? Uh, now, is, is there any stiffness? Is there any... Yeah, I can say some stiffness. Okay, so yeah. some stiffness when you move, is it? Right, right. Okay, so let's say you, you try and flex your... Yeah, it's mostly on this side. Okay. Yeah. So you remember the stiffness, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to patch him also with Aeon. Bring your water. Yeah, I've finished up the bottle. Yeah, okay, finish up. Yeah. All right. Now we go back to Evelyn. Okay, so Evelyn, any difference? Any change? Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm yeah? still numb. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And that's fine. That that, so yeah, that's fine. Right? Yeah, because it's not a pain. Yeah. Okay, this is more numbness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now we are going to try something else. Eh? Okay, so let's see uh, whether we can help her to regain some feeling. I have feeling. Huh? I have feeling. It's just More it's feeling still, than um, what you are experiencing now. Okay, I need to specify. Uh, okay. No? <laughs> Sorry. Not it's helping. Okay. No problem. You are very naughty. <laughs> Drink some water. Okay, so let's come back to Stephen. All right, doing well with the water. Good. You need a second one? No. <laughs> no, I don't need to do something there. Yeah, and that is an option. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, but any difference, any change? Not so much. That's fine. That's fine.
Okay. What, uh, what Stephen just told me was that he actually also had some shoulder stiffness. Is that correct? Yeah. So some shoulder stiffness. So has that done anything with the shoulder stiffness? Okay, the mic. You feel a bit of lightness, slight on the relief on the shoulder, yeah? Okay, so that side, no pain, no rasa, yeah? But others got rasa, so now he rasa. <laughs> yeah, so that's how it works, okay? This, by the way, uh, is a, in a way, it is in part a relief patch, yeah? It's not a curative patch, uh, it's a relief patch, okay? So. This helps with the relief. Now, the next question somebody asked me is this. Hey, does that mean uh, that the pain will come back tomorrow? Uh? <laughs> yeah? So this is a natural question, right? And that's why I keep emphasizing, it's a relief patch, okay? Well, that's where the X39 comes into the picture. We have short-term and medium to long-term solutions, yeah? Short-term, you always have a choice, okay? Whether you want to resort to medicine, whether you don't want to do anything about the pain or discomfort, or you want to use something like this, which is natural using the body's energy. You had a question? Okay, all right. Sandra, good question there. <clears throat> so Sandra asks, uh, why water? Yeah. Now, our body, uh, how it actually communicates uh, is actually through electrical signals, okay? So our cells actually communicate with each other with electrical signals. So when you talk about electrical signals, the best conductor for that is water. Yeah? Imagine yourself, okay, that if you're standing at the edge of a 50-meter pool, you're standing on the left side, right side, gonna lightning. I tell you, you will feel immediately because of the water. Okay, just imagine that. Does that answer your question? Yes? Oh. Okay, good. Yeah, but if you have no feeling right now, even if I put it there, you also won't... There is? Okay. It could be. Yes, 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 that's right, that's right. So what we can do for Stephen, uh, Jess, yeah. yeah, maybe we help, you know, by putting a canosin, uh, since this could be a ligament, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we patch him with another patch, you know, that is uh, very good for tendon, connective tissues, uh, ligament, you know, type of uh, issues, yeah. Okay, most welcome. Okay, now coming back to Evelyn. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Evelyn. Yes, sir. Okay, so how is it right now? The good news is I'm having a bit of a headache. The good. <laughs> <laughs> that means what? God rasa. <laughs> yeah. Just now I got a headache. So now I got a headache. Aren't we glad? <laughs> okay. That's a so little pokey pokey point here. On pokey my... pokey point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is happening right now is because, uh, the, so what we did uh, was we ad added this energy enhancer patches, yeah? So energy patches have helped the body's circulation, yeah, to, to, to function better, all right? Yeah. And that's why, you know, you're feeling, some people could even be uh, feeling like lightheadedness, yeah? Because if, you know, your, 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 uh, circulation is not good and all of a sudden it increases. You can expect, you know, that because of the change, yeah, your body will take a little bit time to adapt. Okay? Makes sense. So, makes sense. Yeah. More importantly, now that you feel something, even though it's a headache, say you're happy. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the headache. <laughs> Okay. All good. Evelyn, thank you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can go down. You can go down. <laughs> Not going to hold you back. Okay. Just slowly, slowly. Do it like that. Because later I'll come back and check on you. Okay. Yeah. Come. Thank yeah. Thank you. Okay. Most welcome. Yeah. Round of applause, please. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. So, so we need to ask him. So now that we patched this canosin on you, right. how is it? Uh, how, how is it? Uh, a, a, a very slight feeling of comfort. 
Okay, yeah. slight feeling of comfort. Yeah. yeah. It used to be a, a, a bit Tight. of a stress. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When you say slight again, I want to be slightly more specific. Yeah. Mm. How many percent? Maybe four or five. Out of sorry, when you ten. say four four or five out of ten. Yeah. Meaning it's a forty percent improvement or is it a I can't 60 say exactly how much, but I do feel a slight relief. Okay, la. so yeah. let's take it lower. We take the lower range, yeah. huh? 40% mm. around okay. there. Okay? Mm. You accept? I also accept. Okay, good. All right, 40% improvement. <laughs> Thank I you. I want to say I don't know this guy. Is <laughs> this water for you again? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, how much time do we have? Uh, uh, three. Okay, yes. but are we behind time overall? Overall, we are behind time. Okay, so I think... I think uh, no, I think uh, because we need to catch up with the rest right now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to go on to the next segment. Yeah. And we hope that this one works. Ah, yeah, it works. Woo! Okay, so the next segment is Jackie, but let's push this one first. Okay, again, ah, uh, big round of applause for the four people who came up, please. Okay, <clears throat> Mr. Jackie Ko is my partner in crime. Good crime, huh? Ah, no, but not we bad are crime. only involved in good crime. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Jackie, you can see here, he has worked uh, in corporate sales and marketing for ten years, uh, running own logistics and distribution business for fifteen years. Uh, so he joined LifeWave in June 2022. That's where we all started almost together. Um, now I must say this, you know, Jackie, yeah. I depend on him. I also depend on Wendy. Okay, because when it comes to numbers, ah, well, I'm terrible at it. So I so, must also say I depend on Jonas. <laughs> when it comes to presentation, <laughs> ah, are you <laughs> number one? Yeah. So the both of them are the anchor of our team. Okay, Wendy, for that matter, keeps us, you know, on a straight line. Yeah, many a time we nyong 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 all over the place. You say no, come back, come back. Yeah, please. Okay. So, so that's how we work together as a team. We leverage on each other strength, and right now we're going to leverage a little bit, you know, on Jackie's other strengths, you know, to describe um, on this segment where we just call it generally patching insight. So, a round of applause for Jackie. Thank you, thank you. Okay, mine will be a very short one. Okay, just now you all have seen our patching demo. You must be wondering why we always patch behind the neck and some parts of the body. How come not on the leg, not on the hands and so on? Okay. Jonas has explained to you about our patching is actually stimulating the acupre acupuncture points. Huh? Okay, I think some of you may have gone to TCM for acupuncture. I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Okay, why we go TCM? To blood circulation and so to solve the problem that we have in our body, right? Okay. Many, many years ago. This is Chinese Kung Fu. Huh? Okay, do we have TCM maybe 3,000 years ago? I don't think so. So what do the Chinese or the human rely on treating their body symptoms? It's Kung Fu, Qi Kong, okay? And some other martial arts, I guess. Okay, so we also watch a lot of movies in the old times. Put like that, you can solve the problem. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can make the sick person revive. Okay, something like that. <laughs> so it happens. I mean, whether there's any, there must be a reason behind lah, all this, okay? So evolve Chinese TCM, evolve all the way, I come up with all these uh, manuscripts, very chim Chinese, if you are very well versed in Chinese, and all the acupuncture points you can see. Okay, so our patches work on the meridian and acupressure therapy. Yeah? So just now, uh, we patch the participants mainly on the back. The back is what we call a GB14, the Da Zui. Okay, when you patch there, actually, it can flow to all parts of the body. Our friend may have leg problem, may have hand issue, hand pain, leg pain, back pain. Behind the neck is actually sufficient. Okay, there are some other points like CB6, the Qi Hai point, just below our belly button. There are several other points you can see there. In fact, for this acupuncture point, actually more than that, huh? a few hundreds. Just like LiveWave have make it very easy, focus on some of the main points. 
Okay, so if you want to understand more, you can actually approach those who bring you today. Okay, people are asking, is there evidence that uh, acute pressure therapy works? I think you saw just now, it works, right? Do you agree with me? Okay. So is there any so-called study or any uh, reports on that? Okay, if you can refer to National Library of Medicine, the effect of meridian acupressure on stress, anxiety and self-efficacy of shield work nurses in South Korea. They do a, a survey on this. They do a study on this. What do they found out? That meridian acupressure was applied to all these nurses uh, who are on shift work. And what happened? They are reported that they have reduced their stress, fatigue, and anxiety. Okay? So you can go to National Library of Medicine for more info. Same thing. Many experiments have demonstrated the objective existence of meridians by different technologies since the 50s. Okay, such as biophysics, biochemistry, molecular, biology. So this study suggests the meridian points have uh, biophysical characteristics which are different from non-acupuncture point. Okay. Next. Okay, again, another study. Recent study confirmed that meridians and acute points have many biophysical properties. Again, as I say, they are different from non-acupuncture points. These correct, I just named some of the characteristics, the electric characteristics, okay, which con conduce conductance, capac capacitance, low impedance and resi resistance. Okay, the thermal characteristics, as well as the acoustic characteristics. Okay, all these are studies that have shown that it works. Mer Meridian acute points works much better than non acute points. Okay, so light wave has been a proven cutting edge technology yeah, with Eastern TCM therapy. So you can continue to go for your TCM, but if you have a choice, you can choose our light wave patches because we are just like acupuncture. Just that we don't need needles. So acupuncture, I believe, is quite painful for some of you if you have experienced it. So ours, no pain. Okay, nothing goes to your body. Okay, so I think with that, a very simple insights for all of you. Thank you for your session. Let's, okay, next session, uh, very important session. We are going to have photo taking for all of us. Can we uh, gather? Okay, the center portion, stay put. The right hand side, the first four row, because of the projection of the camera, can you either move in the middle or move behind the four rows? Same as on my left. Okay, let's chop chop. Get the photo taking done. Yeah. So the first four rows. Yeah. Just the four rows okay, on the left the, and right. They take the and come and sit. Let's okay. take photo first. Yeah. So you let's can, you can sit us. on the house or stand on the house. Yeah. So if you want to stand on the house, it's also okay. Yeah. Yeah, there are also a lot of seats on the center row. Okay, let's settle down. All right. Now we are going to have a very special segment right now. Okay. By none other than... Okay, don't, don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. Okay, so I'm going to introduce... Uh, so Dr. Timothy Lowe to some of us. Not a new face, but to some, probably, you know, one of the reasons why you're here is because of Dr. Tim, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> more than 30 years tenure in both public and private medical practice. He was former CEO of Glen Eagles Hospital for six years, is it? Six years, okay, that's a long time uh, from what I understand, <laughs> to be a CEO anywhere, you know, in a hospital. And then he was also CEO and board uh, director of Farrah Park Hospital uh, until recently, you know, a few months ago. Okay. Former head of healthcare investment at Pavilion Capital. Um, he was also with, uh, uh, what's it, uh, uh, um, a Japanese pharmaceutical company with, uh, which one? Glaxo, 
Yeah, so so many lah. <laughs> good, right? <laughs> to me, it's all good because, frankly, Dr. Tim is one of the most qualified persons uh, to talk about this segment because he has seen from all sides, whether it's a regulatory side, whether it's the medical affairs side, whether it's as a medical practitioner. By the way, somebody asked me this question. Hey, the doctor, is PhD doctor or what? Uh? No lah, no, this is real doctor, okay? You know, it's not PhD doctor. <laughs> Yeah, somebody just now asked me again, where would you believe that? So anyway, so he, besides all that, uh, he was also awarded, you know, the 50 uh, most talented healthcare leaders of uh, Asia, best CEO of the year for 2016, 2017. Uh, so you look at it, you know, there's so many things. You, don't you like this one? Uh? Most media savvy personality. Yeah. <laughs> they clap for that one. <laughs> Okay, received Public Service Medal for uh, COVID-19, so that's a PBM. He is a motivational speaker as well, uh, as, uh, so he's known you know, as a top hospital voice. He is also an author, huh? so this is uh, his book, The Triangulation of Success. Now, he, he speaks about this area called seven leadership, right? You know, which is something, by the way, because of my uh, HR background, you know, I've been acquainted with, you know, John Maxwell and all this, you know, for many years. So when he, he brought this up, he said, oh, you know, it's about this. I said, wow, okay, you know, I love that already, okay? Um, <clears throat> but it's all about leadership and it's all about people in the organization. That was him in the past. This is him right now. Good or not? <laughs> yeah. But do you think... That, he looks even better now. <laughs> he does, right? Okay. Now, just very, very quickly as well. Uh, I actually uh, bumped into, I met, uh, not bumped into, I actually met Dr. Tim uh, in September 2022. That was the first time we were introduced by uh, Wendy. So you can see, you know, we were then, you know, advertising his book. Yeah. But after that, uh, in October, and I have this picture, that's what I'm showing you. You know, he actually, I actually went to see him because he was curious about more patches, yeah. So there were two things that impressed me. Number one, you know, the fact you know, that he wanted to try, yeah, even as a medical doctor. Number two, what I was really impressed is the fact that he let me take photo with him like this. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Oh, okay, good, clap. <laughs> but I am happiest back in November 30th, 2023. You can see here, we're talking about reward plan. So <laughs> this was at the SRC, okay, where we sat down and then we talked about this and that's why I thought, oh, very interesting. Huh? Okay, Dr. Tim is interested also about the business. So this is him. Okay, you see, I, I sound look like Keanu Reeves, right? <laughs> yeah. So with that, can we give a round of applause to Dr. Tim? It does look Good afternoon, everyone. I think I'll send this slide. I'm afraid of the podium. Anyway, glad to see all of you. And... Uh, Jonas tend to exaggerate a little bit more about me. Yeah, I met uh, I met Wendy uh, more than more than a year back. Uh, then I met Wendy and Jonas, and uh, I think later during the panel, he has some questions which I can share with you. Uh, what my thoughts were at that time, and what my thoughts are now. So at the moment now, let me share with you the signs of photo biomodulation and its effects on the stem cells. Stem cells basically in our own body. How many of you are less than 50 years old? Very good. <laughs> so you still have uh, quite a little bit of stem cells, right? As um, Jonas was saying, when you hit 60, your stem cells will be 5% or less in your body in terms of the activity of your stem cells, right? So my stem cells is 5% or less already, okay? This has been shown, but just to repeat again, live wave is unique because it's the only phototherapy. Photo means light, 
therapy is treatment, right? Light treatment product in the world that uses the human body as its own power. So our own body powers up the patch, right? We activate the patch by our own body and not anywhere else. So biophoton, bio is life, which is our cells, right? Life. Photon is light. So our cells emit light. Our body, if you see, you go to the airport, right? They always have this camera previously during the COVID time or after COVID also. This camera, I like to like go behind the camera, look at what the camera is looking at. You see people coming through the, um, the plane and whether they are red or kind of yellow or blue, right? If red means fever, but whether yellow or blue, there's light coming from our body. So our body is emitting infrared light or infrared heat. Heat is light also, yeah? So living things, including humans, emit light. As you can see, the camera that is being shown. I'm going to share with you some... Um, clinical or medical uh, papers, right? PubMed, if you see it on top there, is where we always find all the clinical papers. If it is in uh, PubMed, you know that it is being accepted and it is credible, right? Not all papers are credible, but if you look at PubMed, you know that they are credible. So in this um, paper, it shows an introduction to human biophoton emission, meaning the cells emitting light, right? So the introduction to it. Biophoton emission is the spontaneous emission of the ultra-weak light from living systems, including man. That means our cells. Our cells emit light at an ultra-low level. Biophoton emission of the human body. This thing doesn't work that well. <laughs> How do we... Uh, it needs a patch, actually. <laughs> Systematic measurements have been performed by means of a photo detector, as you have seen, the photo detector. That's how they measure. Anything that you need to do in any trial, you need to measure, right? As a doctor... I also do not believe things that people tell me upfront. It's not that I don't believe them, it's just that I need to know the theory behind it, how it works, what's the mechanism. Because when I tell patients that I'm giving you a hypertension medicine, I need to make sure that there's clinical trials done. There's evidence based. Otherwise, I cannot say I'm going to give you this medicine. Okay? So LifeWave has more than 80 clinical trials done. Things that they say are usually evidence-based. Otherwise, they will not say it. This method, which is a measurement tool, provides a powerful tool for non-invasive medical diagnosis in terms of basic regulatory functions of the body. So basically, just, just to tell you that there are papers that has been done. Photobiomodulation. Photo is light. Bio is life or cells, right? Modulation. So how does the light modulate our cells? If you look at this, it's the powerhouse, it's mitochondria. It's the powerhouse of our cell. If you look at a single cell, there's a nucleus where our DNA is. DNA looks like that, right? The double helix, the DNA in the nucleus, but inside the cell has also got mitochondria. This generates the energy. This energy generates the power for the cells. So cellular mechanism near infrared light stimulates mitochondria. 
It produces all these nitric oxide, reactive oxygen series, RS, ATP. ATP gives you energy, right? Gives the cells energy. And with the energy, uh, this is the DNA. With this energy, the DNA will have protein or gene transcription. That means they make proteins, all right? They make uh, things that is needed by the body, to put it simply. Another paper, Biological Responses of Stem Cells to Photobiomodulation. Previously, photobiomodulation is called low light intensity laser treatment. Right? But now they call it photobiomodulation. Studies demonstrated that rate to near infrared light, this is between 600 to 1000 nanometers, which is the frequency of rate to near infrared, is absorbed by the mitochondria, which I showed you just now, the powerhouse of the cell, is being absorbed. And what does it do? The findings of this review suggest that the photobiomodulation therapy, they re based this the therapy, regenerative medicine could be a useful tool for future advances. You know that regenerative medicine is now the in thing now. Because in our body, anything goes wrong or any injury in our body, we need to regenerate. And the only thing that can regenerate is our stem cells. And as most of you know, that most of you stem cells are in the 10%, 15, 10%, 15%, 5%, like me, less than 5%. So we need to stimulate our own stem cells to regenerate and heal internally. The effects of photobiomodulation on stem cells is important for regenerative medicine. This is happening all over the world, regenerative medicine, especially in Japan, stem cell therapy, stem cell R&D is going on a lot. Why? They won the Nobel Prize. Professor Yamanaka, he won the Nobel Prize in 2012 for stem cells, right? IPSC stem cells. So a lot of research is going on. PBM, photobiomodulation effect on multiple stem cells. Stem cells, you know, they can change to different, different types of cells, right? I will show you later. In vitro means in the test tube. And in vivo studies, in vivo means in the body. So in a test tube and in the body, they have shown that photobiomodulation can induce adipose-derived stem cells, ADSC. Adipose is your fat cells, adipose tissue. Yeah, like I have some here. Adipose tissue. So adipose derives stem cells to differentiate into multiple mature cells. Phenotypes is, don't worry about phenotypes, mature cells including adipocytes, which is fat cells, osteoblasts to make your bones, you got fractures, right? You need osteoblasts to heal the bone. Chondrocytes, people with osteoblasts. Osteoarthritis, cartilage is gone. Chondrocytes makes the cartilage. Effect of photobiomodulation on human bone marrow stem cells. Research results of bone marrow stem cells, the hemo uh, PBM is a photobiomodulation widely applied to wound healing. You will see that X39 heals wounds faster than if you just leave it alone for your own body to heal. Of course, you leave it alone, it will heal, but it takes a longer time. And bone formation, fractures. As we grow older, our fracture takes longer to heal. You see children, right? They run, they fall, they break their bones, but within a few weeks, their bones are healed. 
for older people, it takes a long time and it doesn't heal very well. So more significant results came from the use of wavelengths in the near infrared region, which showed remarkable results in wound healing and bone formation. Basically, it's light therapy in those areas, which is the near infrared region, which is the nearer the 1,000 nanometers. Remarkable results. Photobiomodulation induces the stem cells in the wound healing through anti-apoptosis. Apoptosis is cell death. Anti-apoptosis means anti-cell death. So it helps in wound healing. So application of photobiomodulation can be a promising combination to improve the stem cell therapy. So basically, this is just to tell you that light helps. That's why it's photo therapy, right? Photo, bio, light, and cells, and modulate our cells. Light modulating our cells. So stem cells and GHKCU. GHK is the tripeptide, right? Three amino acids form the tripeptide, GHK, glycine, histidine, and lysine. CU is copper in our body. So what are stem cells? The simplest unit of a living matter, that's a stem cell. And as I said, I will show you stem cells can change to fat cells. It can change to muscle cells. When our muscle is damaged, the stem cells will go there, regenerative healing, heal your muscles. Right? Bone, when you have fractures. Blood, we change our blood every 120 days. Right? So we need the stem cells. Nervous cells, our nerves. When we have nerve problem, when we have nerve damage, the stem cells goes there, repairs. Right? Some people will not repair completely, but uh, it will repair. And some people have numbness, and numbness may not go away, but the pain will go away. Because numbness don't go away because the bone is mechanically pressing on the nerve. That part, you can't do anything because it is mechanical, right? The bone is pressing on the nerve all the time unless you go and cut off the bone. Epithelial cells, immune cells, our immune cells and sex cells, which is the egg and the sperm. So the current stem cell therapy, there are some ethical issues. That's why... Singapore do not allow. If you want to go to Malaysia, Thailand, you still can do some stem cell injection. But Singapore, not yet. Right? There's some ethical issues there. And if you use embryonic stem cell, which is from the embryo, people have abortion. They take the embryo, then take out the stem cells. There are some issues there, ethically. Accessibility, not everyone can access. Affordability, very expensive. If you have stem cell injection, it's about thirty to fifty to seventy thousand dollars. It will last only about six to nine months. It's good, but how many people can afford that? All right? Effectiveness not hundred percent. Those who inject stem cells into their knee for osteoarthritis, not so effective for some, but effective for others. So if it's effective for the person, good. Results not lasting forever. Okay, Dr. Laurent Picard, he found GHKCU plays a very important part in stem cells. That's 50 years ago, 1973. He placed the liver cells into the 80 year old blood and person, uh, of uh, 80 year old person's blood into a 20 year old. He found that liver, his liver cells started to behave like young, healthy cells. Right? And then it turned out that it was a GHKCU that was causing the older cells to behave like the younger cells. So what does X39 do? X39 increases our GHKCU in our body and makes our cells younger. To put it simply, right? Dr. Rampicard passed away uh, six months ago. I think in December 2023. I think he was 85 years old then. So the real power of GHKCU or GHK copper 
This is another paper to show that regenerative and protective actions of GHK copper in the light of the new gene data, right? So GHKCU resets genes to a younger and healthier state. It was shown, I showed you in the other paper. It tightens our loose skin and reverses the thinning of aged skin. But it takes time, yeah? It takes months. Improves, um, it repairs the skin uh, barrier protein, improves skin firmness, elasticity, and clarity. I've seen a lot of people. The skin becomes clearer. It's people who tell the other person. People tell me, hey, how come you look younger? I said, is it? I mean, every day I look into the mirror, I can't tell the difference. So usually before you patch, or even if you patch for two weeks already and forgot to take a photograph, please take a photograph. Then every month you take a photograph of yourself again, and then you can see the difference. All right, it reduces fine lines, deep wrinkles, um, improves structure of aged skin, smoothen out your rough skin, reduce photo damage. Photo damage is sun. Eh? When we go onto the sun, it will damage our skin. Westerners like to go into the sun, and you go under the sun, but Asians will like go away from the sun. They take the umbrella, even they're walking when there's no rain. Yeah, it's not, it's good because you want to block off the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Reduce uh, mortal hyperpigmentation, skin spots and lesions, improve skin appearance, stimulate wound healing. This is important. It does, I'll show you some photos later. It protects the skin cells from ultraviolet radiation. So what else does GHKCU do for you inside our body? Eh? It produces anti-aging effects at a cellular level. Anti-aging means slowing down our age. But X39 also has age reversal. It reverses our age by eight and a half years. If you put X39 every day for six months. And that's, that's uh, shown in the clinical trial. Repair DNA damage, promote DNA repair, promote organ regeneration, suppress production of fibrinogen which reduces the tendency of blood clots. Basically, you don't want to have blood clots. Clot in your heart, you get heart attack. Clot in your brain, you get stroke. Right? A lot of people having heart attack and strokes. So this helps. Improve blood flow in tissues, reduce inflammation and free radical uh, increase the hair growth and thickness and enlarge the hair follicle for some people. Okay, X39, X49 does that. Different approaches to light therapy. As uh, Jonas has shown, baby with jaundice, what do we put under light, right? Um, LifeWave takes a new approach to phototherapy to increase the production of GHKCU in the body. So our body stimulates or rather activates our X39, either you put here or put here. Only X39 and X49 are stem cells acti activation patches. Eh? The others are supplementary support patches. So, David Smith, in 2018, he created his best invention to date, X39. This is the 39 patch. X39 because it's the 39 patch that he came up with. Along the way, there are patches that sort of didn't work. Right? Aeon is X15, X15. AEO and Aeon is X15, but they don't call X15, they call it Aeon. Right? When he reaches X39, he called it X39. Then when he reached X49, he called it X49. Right? X39 and X49 are stem cells, patches, rather activation patches. A lot of clinical papers, more than 20 years of development, 80 clinical studies or clinical trials by independent researchers, universities, which Jonas showed you earlier on, medical and scientific journals. Double blind placebo controlled study of life wave relates to improvement of strength endurance in high performing college athletes. Double blind controlled study is the gold standard when you do any clinical trial, right? X39 increases level of uh, GHKCU in the body. This is a study that shows double-blind testing to show that it increases the GHKCU. 
right? The study showed significant increase in the blood as well as a result in wearing of uh, X39 for a week. Don't worry about this, just look at the p-value, meaning it is, is it statistically significant compared to the control group? Control group, probably that patch looks exactly the same, but nothing inside. Versus another person who's wearing this patch, which is X39 with the nanocrystals inside. So is it statistically significant when they do the trial? Yes, it is less than 0 0.05, so it's 0 0.03. No change is seen when the blood is drawn at three months, but the telomere has lengthened by at six months. Telomere is where you measure our age reversal. Right? So he has shown that after six months of wearing X39, telomere lengthened to equivalent of eight and a half years of age reversal. That's why I say not only anti-aging, slow down your aging, but it also age reverse you by eight and a half years, the cells. Huh? That's why when you look at people's faces, right, they look younger. Some pictures, proven results before, after nine weeks, before, after four months, before, after one year, three years, before, after, three months, before, after, one week, before, after. Wound healing, 10 hours before, after, seven weeks before, after, for stitches, 13 months before, after. Right? Healing nine days before, after, 20 days before, after, two hours before, after. X39. Hair, not for everyone, but if it does, then you're fortunate. Three months before, after, 23 days, 43 days before, after, six months before and after. This one probably had some medical problems. It doesn't, the pattern does not show that it is the genetic. It's probably uh, alopecia areata or something like that. Yeah, two months. So where do we go from here? What can we do to improve the quality of life and prime our body for the best health and age? We take responsibility for our own body. No one is going to take a responsibility for your body. Although you tend to take responsibility for your children's body, but your children eventually has to take a responsibility for their own body. You can only encourage them and support them. Take action now to enhance your own health and wellness. Now we are into well care. When you go into sick care means you go into the hospital. We wouldn't want to go to the hospital, right? Then when you go to elder care, that's, uh, that's, that's another uh, area. But we want to re remain in the well care. That's why we're all here, right? Keep yourself well. And it's not that you can you afford to, but can you afford not to? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Dr. Tim. Okay. Now this segment, we call it the fireside panel discussion, okay? And besides Dr. Tim, okay, we have this person here uh, now. Do you all know him or not? Anybody don't know him? Hand up. Don't know him. Okay. Don't know him. <laughs> okay. By the way, uh, this is Vincent Ho. Vincent Ho is my sponsor. So he's the one who actually brought me into LifeWave. 
wholesale. Who was it? Who's saying? So you must start sponsoring people first. If not, ah, uh, too late. <laughs> okay. Um, very briefly, uh, I rejected Vincent three times. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah. so this is something, by the way, uh, don't repeat. Don't be like me. Okay. There are certain things that maybe you want to learn a little bit in order to be like me. This is definitely not one of them. Okay. Now, uh, just have some notes here. So we, I'm going to be the facilitator. I'm going to ask uh, a few questions. Uh, this this is very uh, okay. Okay, now you all know Dr. Tim. I've already um, introduced uh, Dr. Tim, so I'm just going to thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to um, uh, read a little bit about Vincent Ho's profile. Huh? So Vincent here, he is a hardcore businessman. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he owns this business right now called the BRT, uh, Bioresonance Therapy, you know, Oasis of Hope. Um, and in fact, that's where I met Vincent. I actually know Vincent for, I think about what, 14, 15 yeah. years yes. already. About 15 years. Yeah. yeah, 15 years already. So, so uh, that is the, 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 the distance, you know, that we have gone. Um, <clears throat> so now besides this uh, uh, Bioresonance Therapy Center, which he has for the last 15 years, years already okay um, he he's also ventured into other stuff huh? like uh, um, he was owning this glacier frozen yogurt cafe la, you know and then before that you know he was with uh, Singtel for quite a few years uh, wow his educational history very long so I'm not gonna read yeah <laughs> okay. but he is a uh, qualified naturopathic complementary medicine uh, practitioner okay um, and then you know he's got a few other things from Taiwan and you know other places all right so I what, what I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to be asking them a few questions asking them. Hello, no. okay, this is probably the battery. yeah Ah, okay. <clears throat> now, um, you will see that there are actually three people there. James Lowe is not here. Okay, so he gives his, uh, I mean, he offers his apology. La. Unfortunately, he had a family emergency that to attend to. So he's not able to join us today. Um, and he sends, you know, his regards, he sends his love to everyone. Yeah. Um, so he did ask me just now to say, hey, you know, make sure you take a lot of pictures, a lot of videos and send to him. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got a few questions here that I want to ask. Okay, I'm going to move away. I don't know whether that's the problem or not. Um, okay, testing one, two, three. Can okay, I do some better? Huh? Now, first question I'm going to ask. Uh, okay, let's start with, let's start with uh, Dr. Tim. Okay. Um, so the first question is, what attracted you to LifeWave and convinced you that this is the technology, product and organization that you were willing to invest your time, your energy and even stake your reputation? Okay, Dr. Tim. Okay, as you know, previously I was in Pavilion Capital, which is... Uh, part of Tamasic uh, in Singapore. So I was head of healthcare investment. I was looking at all the new technologies in the world for funding. Of course, uh, we, when we give funding, we have to do a lot of due diligence. So my personal interest is basically any innovation that comes by, I am pretty excited. Right? So one of the, although we did not invest or LifeWave does not need investment, um, but I'm just saying that in terms of um, the curiosity of innovation is something that I find uh, intriguing. And LifeWave has only come to Singapore like three years, thereabouts, and I've tried it myself for a year to see the effects and side effects. Of course, no side effects. Maybe a bit itchy sometimes, the glue, uh, but no side effects, right? So that's how it, it attracted me in terms of you and Wendy showing me something that I've not seen before. 
So if I have not seen it before, I would like to dive, deep dive into it. And of course, do clinical trials on myself. As I said, after doing clinical trial on myself, I know effects are effect. And I found it good. People saying, hey, how come you look younger? Uh, I mean, a bit vain. Huh? All human beings are vain, right? So uh, that is a good point. Okay, good. Thank you for that, Dr. Tim. Okay, Vincent, uh, over to you. So the same question, uh, what attracted you to LifeWave, convinced you that this is the technology product organization that you are willing to invest your time, energy and stake your reputation? Okay. Um, I must say that um, for myself, I'm not a medical practitioner and uh, for the past 15 years running my center, there are many direct selling companies that push me to sell their product or even join them as a brand partner or downline. Yeah, I use some of this product, but um, I never want to associate too much with them in the sense that I don't openly declare that uh, I'm a brand partner or a direct seller of their product. You know? So, but why life with? Um, actually, as usual, before I normally would do a lot of background chat and see testimonial and then see who are the person using it or those, you know. And um, there are really three main X factor uh, in life with the intangible um, value to the company. The first one is the um, X39 stands out patch, which I think is a very brilliant uh, invention because it's able to apply. Um, um, photo, you know, non-transdermal, more important is non-transdermal, that's very important, uh, photo biomodulation to activate our stem cell and yet without having to have any external power source. No, this is really different, non-transdermal, you know, and then uh, without external power source. It's not easy to do that. And because of that, that's why it allowed the company to be in a position whereby there's no equivalent competitor in the market currently. You know, that's first. Second is, of course, um, you know, I think even in Dr. Timothy presentation, you see that um, the company is endorsed by Irish government, the US military, you know, uh, professional athletes, uh, medical doctors, natural path like myself, um, dentists, chiropractor, and uh, celebrities, you know, and many renowned healthcare practitioners globally. You know, of course, with all the patents, you know, that they have, you know, I think that gave me the comfort because it's not easy really you know, to get all these professional and healthcare practitioners to support it. You know, some might say have uh, maybe people from alternative healthcare, but to get medical doctors is not easy. And of course, the third, and of course I say it's the most important, um, is the founder and the inventor, Mr. David Smith. Um, to me, I find that, you know, because I've been an entrepreneur, of course I am an entrepreneur, and I find Mr. David, he's a true um, it's really a truly um, faith-driven entrepreneur. I say faith-driven entrepreneur, a Christian. And um, it's really God that has um, caught him, you know, and equipped him, you know, with the um, ability to let God's will be done on earth as in heaven, you know, through the creation of lightweight patch that have really saved many lives, you know. Uh, I think that, that is really very important because I being a Christian, I can uh, also, I mean, I can relate to that. And I think you know, all entrepreneurs are supposed to have a calling to create value on earth. And that is uh, where God's will be done on earth, as in heaven. You know, I think that, that's the thing re that really attracts me. And of course, um, I dare to associate myself with the company because um, it not just uh, devalue my company, in fact, uplift the brand of my company and of course uh, myself. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, great. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Maybe Vincent, just to continue with that. Huh? So the, the, your last sentence was that you were saying that LifeWave, you have your own business, yeah, which is your, your, your main, yeah, your mainstay. All right? And, and uh, LifeWave could be seen as a competitor or it could be seen to complement your business. So you chose and you found that LifeWave can actually complement your business. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, so it means, you know, that the, uh, okay, so LifeWave, for those of you, uh, that means in, in the crowd here with other businesses, uh, that's where, don't look at LifeWave as a competitor, yeah? Um, maybe I can ask Vincent uh, this more, uh, more sensitive question, okay? As an entrepreneur, making money is very important, right? Uh, of course. <laughs> okay, so 
um, don't need to give me exact figures. <laughs> yeah, but when you say you know that live wave uh, is helping your business and all this, uh, so roughly you know your the, the size of your live wave business there, in terms uh, of whether you know is it like you know of of five figure you know the revenue that is giving you or it's a six figure revenue that is giving you, are you able to comment on that? Mm, actually, I can. Um, but before before I answer that, um, just take a sidetrack a bit, uh, because when I see live wave, of course, as usual, um, when there's any new product that's in the market, you know, we always want to evaluate whether is that a threat or is um opportunity. You know, just like Chinese saying, the mm. you know, way so of course, um, threat can also be opportunity, depending on how you embrace it. Um. For live wave itself, um, to me, it's actually uh, really you know um, it complement my business uh, because it really gave me additional revenue stream. Um, okay, from which you know number one is that uh, he's able to let me uh, add value to my company and create a, a additional revenue stream from four forces. Number one is that um, I'm able to earn revenue from retail sales to my existing customer. Uh, two is that um, I'm able to actually build a line of network you know, uh, by nurturing these uh, patients, you know, my patients, to be brand partner. Of course, uh, Jonas is one of them because he's my patient that end up become brand partner. And now you see, you know, um, he's building such a big network. And of course, third is actually the referral patients because by integrating life with into my practice, in fact, I see much better result. Much better result means more people refer. You know, of course, the last one, of course, um, um, the life with network of people, I mean, network of brand partner are uh, people who uh, don't like to use drugs. Eh? They generally will prefer to use uh, non invasive treatment, and those are potential customers to my existing practice as well. And of course, um, I have about nine therapies in my center. So, in 2023, only I myself that sell life with, I think um, we're doing more than 100 or thousands uh, of revenue. And of course, this year I start to get all my therapies to sell life with. Um, then, of course, um, I won't expect that it will be ninefold, but I would think that even if I can get uh, double or threefold, you know, uh, very soon I think it will be like you know probably even uh, half a million um, per year. I talk about per year. And the interesting thing about life with is that uh, it, the stickiness. You no, know, um, in the past I sell supplements uh, to my patient. Very often they they eat after one round, two round, they stop eating. No, no people like to put pills. But when I sell LifeWay patch to them or introduce LifeWay patch to them, right, you don't need to ask them to continue to use it, no. They just continue to come and buy the LifeWay patch, no. And then beginning maybe go, subsequently just diamond, diamond, diamond. No, so there is a recurring revenue, in fact, it's stack up and not one off. I think, of course, this is, this is good uh, from the business perspective. Yeah. All right. You like that answer? Okay, so a few important points uh, that uh, Vincent brought up. Uh, so I picked up on this. It is non, it's a non-consumable, right? So this is something that you patch. You do not need to consume. So people are worried, are concerned that, uh, you know, whatever they put in the mouth, whether it's a supplement or something like this, you know, if they're taking any kind of medication, it would, uh, you know, uh, counterindicate. Yeah, the effects, the effectiveness, you know, of the medicine. Okay, so that's that's great. Now, okay, Dr. Tim, coming back to you. Um, what is the one thing that you saw in LifeWave that is a wow factor for you? Yeah, if, I know there's many, yeah, <laughs> thick skin. Yeah, but okay, let's just say one. If there's only one, the biggest, you know, that wow factor in life wave that really appeal to you, if there is one, what would it be? Well, actually, I have two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can also. <laughs> but the one I already said, right? Mm. I see, yeah. <laughs> I want to be younger. I want to look younger. I want to feel actually more like you want to feel younger, and you want to feel more uh, energetic, more active, more. What you want to be healthier inside. That's, that's one. The other one is pain relief. Because if I give somebody painkillers, because most people have pain at some point in their life, right? You sprain your back, your ankle, your, you do your computer work, your neck gets tight, right? At the end of the day, it's so tight. Um, 
the patches will actually help to relieve this tightness and pain within minutes. So if I take acoxia, usually I take the maximum 120 milligrams top dose. You know what I mean? I just want to get over it in terms of the pain. Then I take anorex, which is the muscle relaxant, right? Because it's very tight. It still takes a few hours. But if I patch within minutes, I feel the relief. And for pain, it also comes down within a few minutes. So that's the wow factor for me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, so you guys also saw we had uh, four people, right, who came out just now for the, the demo, right? And we patched them. And how long did it take for us to see the results? Very quickly, right? Okay. Um, I remember when, you know, I, I belong, by the way, uh, to that category where I have no real issues. Yeah. So when I first started patching, uh, frankly, uh, I didn't feel anything, you know. Yeah. Um, and I didn't feel anything uh, for more than six months, you know. Although on the second month, people started saying like, you know, I, go, I met friends. In fact, I got three friends uh, who bought. But the only reason why they bought was because, you know, I haven't met them for a while. They saw me, they say, hey, how come uh, you got this radiance, this glow about your face? Uh? Whatever you're using, uh, I want to use now. So they bought straight away, you know, before even asking me what it is. <laughs> okay. But from a from a, what's that, you know, from a, a issues, you know, health issues, and you know, frankly, you know, I didn't really have anything to, to, to shout about until one day I injured myself on the first day of Chinese New Year 2023. And that kind of injury, frankly, I would have been in the hospital or I have to go to a clinic for an injection into my back. And with Ice Wave, with Aeon, I didn't need to. Yeah, that the first day of Chinese New Year, after just uh, half an hour of resting, 45 minutes, I still could go visiting. Yeah, because I lost my dad, you know, so about uh, four years ago. So it's only my mom alone. So it was so important for me to go and pine in with my mom. And I managed to do this because of Ice Wave, because of Life Wave. So it's amazing, I tell you. Okay, now, same question that I'm going to pose to Vincent. Yeah, so what is that wow factor? Yeah, in life way. <laughs> Actually, like Dr. Timothy, there are too many. <laughs> but anyway, things need to choose one. Eh? Of course, uh, come from the uh, businessman perspective. Of course, I would say that the main wow factor is the very generous and yet sustainable reward scheme. You know, the hybrid, the hybrid complaint. You know, all of you will know that uh, life way give up to 60%. Now their revenue that is really you know uh, very generous, but a lot of company they do that you know but they are not sustainable. So the thing is um, generous and sustainable, you know. And uh, of course this will allow uh, like-minded brand partner to be able to build um, very rewarding and consistent passive income. And how can it be possible? You no, know, where other company cannot. It's because. Um, the cost is low. You see how much is the patch? It's not, not really very expensive. But important thing is the perceived value is very high. Then how can cost low and perceived value high? You know, um, that's because of the technology and the patent, the 130 over patents and critical trial 80 overs. No? I think this is where David actually throwing a lot of money um, in the invention so that we are able to enjoy all his uh, hard work. And uh, I will say that that is really something that is very good. You know? Um, and, and of course, that, that is definitely what I think is the wow factor for myself. Yeah. Okay. And of course, I believe that will be for you as well. Right. If you join. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, I've, I've got a question for Dr. Tim. And, you know, this, um, some people will say, you know, it's a very sensitive question. Yeah. But frankly, uh, this is addressing the elephant in the room, lah, I call it. Yeah, there's an elephant. Don't do ignore it. It's there. Yeah. So let's just address this. Let's talk MLM. Okay. Now, my observation is that most uh, Singapore medical practitioners shy away from being associated with companies that use this type of business model. And by the way, uh, let me just clarify. Uh, many people misunderstand. They think you know that MLM is an industry. There is no such industry. Okay. MLM is a business model. And it has been used, you know, anything from 
in the industries like uh, uh, technology, crypto, la, to, to insurance, la, to whatever, there's so many, but they use the same business model. You can call it different names, la, like you know, direct selling, you can call it network marketing, but at the end of the day, people always ask this, MLM or not? Is it MLM or not? Yeah. So can you, Dr. Tim, uh, share your perspective and insights on this since you're with us now, okay? So, and how did you still come, you know, to be associated with LifeWave despite the fact uh, that some medical practitioners say no way? Well, I'm sure all of you or most of you have insurance, right? Insurance, we need it now because healthcare is so expensive whether it's public or private sector. An insurance agent will be selling it to you. At some point, you'll be taking up and buying some insurance, especially the Integrated Shield Plan, ISP, right? That can be used in both private and public hospital. So insurance patient agents are the, kind of the same model, right? They will sell you something good, which is good for you. And then they will service you throughout the years and make sure that whatever issues you have, whatever problems you have along the way, they will see to it. So there's no difference. To me, it's like what's the product for, for LifeWave is, is it good or not? To me, it's like I've tried many different products, uh, which is a MLM type. But to me, it's like whether the product is good or not. That's why I say I always try on myself, clinical trial myself, see the effects and side effects. As long as it's good, I don't really bother how it's being marketed, how it's being sold. It's basically whether I want the product or not, right? Whether you want the insurance or not. So to me, it's like, okay, it's a good product. It's something that is innovative, something that you cannot find elsewhere. And can you buy such a product in Guardian or Unity? You can't. Why? The sales girl cannot explain to you what I explained to you just now. You need people to educate, right? To educate you. The sales girl cannot tell you if you have this condition where you patch because we will have a lot of different conditions along the way, right? Just like insurance, you've got a lot of problems along the way, your insurance agent will look into it. So you have a lot of issues and problems along the way. Even the pharmacist in the, in the pharmacy cannot tell you this condition, where do you patch? This condition, where do you patch? And they cannot educate you. They don't have time. So you, when you join a group or you know when you get a product, you need to make sure that you join a responsible group that can educate you, that can support you all the way. You don't want to join a group whereby go and buy and try. And then after that, I got this and that, this and that, different, different problems. Humans got very different conditions, right? If you, if you are irresponsible and do not know the product, do not know the process, then I would say don't share and sell to the person because you're doing the person a disservice. The person would be wondering, what do I do? You know, no one is supporting me. So make sure that you have people who support you. You have people who guide you along the way and educate you. That's very important, the education part. So responsibility, as I was talking, take responsibility for your own health, take responsibility for the people who are under you, whom you have shared. For me, Jonas was saying servant leadership. I'm here to serve and not to be served. All right, great answer. Uh, so just to continue on the question uh, for Dr. Tim. Um, so people play a big part, right? On, uh, there's a product aspect of it, okay? Uh, so there's, there's always the company aspect as well. There's a culture aspect. So you have been using, interacting with some of us right now for a few months already. What are your views on what you have experienced with LifeWave so far? Especially, you know, from an organization, from a people perspective. The people is your main asset. Now, whether you're running a company, whether you're running your home, 
your people are your greatest asset. You must take care of your people. And I, I think uh, what I felt was that the group, Jackie, they are my outline, eh? Jackie, uh, Wendy, Jonas, whenever I have a question, which I have every other day, why? Because my people under me are asking me that question. So I must make sure that I'm responsible enough to, to, to answer their question. They are better in terms of patching for certain conditions and all that. I mean, I can go the clinical part, but where to patch for certain conditions, I would always get back to them uh, for confirmation. Not everything, but those that I'm not sure of. So I will get back to them and they always respond. So that's why I say you must find a group support where you're being supported and responded to. Of course, not all conditions they can answer. Even I cannot answer for all conditions. If I can't answer, I tell you I can't answer. <laughs> you can try X to the nine A on first, <laughs> right? And then you see how it gets along the way. Right. So, group and people important. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now, any last uh, comments, uh, Vincent or Doctor Tim? Because we are really running out of time. <laughs> Yeah. Um, any any other last comments that you want to make before I end this fireside panel session? Okay. Um, maybe just the last one is that um, uh, actually I find the journey so far life with is actually uh, very rewarding to expect. Um, number one is that um, for my patient, where integrate that with my practice, I see faster result uh, for their chronic disease healing, and uh, that is very important because a lot of time when you come to chronic disease. Uh, sometimes time is very important. If you miss that opportunity, the time it can be too late. You no, know, of course. Um, thank you from them. You know. uh, of course, the other one is my personal, because um, I've been searching for a life with, I mean, a, a stem cell solution. You know, as we age, uh, we want to have a stem cell solution, like you no know, whether it's the procedure or whatever it is. You no, know? and um, and when I find life with um, X thirty nine stem cell activator, uh, I find it's very good because. Um, I'm 57 this year, so every year ahead, I have to reverse my age to make me younger. You know, so since I patched for two years, two years, uh, I believe <laughs> there are some changes you know, in the compression. And of course, that is also rewarding. And of course, um, I, that, that's why I would say that uh, Life Waste is a fantastic, uh, externalized fantastic product. So yeah, that's the only okay, thing. Thank you, Vincent. How about Dr. Tim? Anything else that you want to add? No? All right, so we've come to the end of our fireside panel discussion. Uh, because of time, you know, we're truncating it just a little bit. So can you help me to thank our two people? Clap, all right, as loud as possible. As loud as possible, okay? They're sharing, you know, all they know about life waves. Okay, thank you so much there, thank you. Okay, now, we have now the privilege to hear from our sharer, yeah, and we have two, okay, um, so come, yeah, okay, slowly. All right, so the first one is Ms. Lam Lai Chan. Uh, and just now we were patching somebody with this condition. So you would be very, very keen to listen to this one. Yeah. So. I think it's okay. Thank, yeah. thank you very much. much. Okay. So you press down, it's moving the slide. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to hand the floor over to Lai Chan to introduce herself a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Lai Chan, over to you. Thanks, Jonas. Hi, everybody. My name is Lai Chan. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, okay? I'm just a lay person, but I'm a hospitality trainer and consultant. So I travel around the world helping different organizations and individuals to improve in their service, all right? So uh, I happened to, to start to... I was doing very well, and uh, until one day something like this happened. So I want to share with you my journey. I actually had aneurysm just like Evelyn, Okay, the earlier lady, I, yeah, I also have uh, aneurysm, but my, my thing is different. I got endovascular coil inside my head instead of open surgery because this is an option 
my husband decided for me because he felt that if that don't work, then probably uh, we can go for an open surgery. Yeah. So I, I, maybe I was very fortunate in that sense. So So what is aneurysm? Aneurysm is actually a little pouch, pouch on the wall of the artery which burst, leading to internal bleeding. Now too share, okay? So I was having this, uh, you can call it a stroke also, because it ruptured and it was in my brain. When I, what, what was I doing? I was in my, cons in my client's place, which is a hotel, a five-star hotel, uh, doing some consultancy work. Then suddenly I felt so bad that I have to stop. And I told my customer, the director of HR, I'm not feeling well. And, she, and so she called the general manager and both of them sent me to SGH, Singapore General Hospital. And I stayed there for four months. Wow. I've never stayed in a hospital so long. <laughs> and this is four months. Now, what are the symptoms on, on brain aneurysm? What are the symptoms? A lot of people didn't know. Basically, you have severe headaches, pain above and around the eyes, loss of balance sometimes. That's why I see my husband's helping me <laughs> to make sure I can come out on time. <laughs> and also loss of balance, unable to sleep, insomnia, and of course difficulty concentrating on problems or short-term memory. This is that telltale sign one month before it happens. One month. And I was having severe headaches, really severe headaches. And usually I would take one Panadol. But it got so bad, I got to take two Panadols. But that didn't trigger me that it was something bad because I just take two Panadols and then I'm okay. I, so I, I didn't really bother think about it. But then I just, it snapped and I really went in the hospital for four months. So my recovery journey. So started in December 2021. So you can see there was an endovascular coil inside my brain. So I have a gap here. <laughs> They're not going to dye my hair because chemical can go in. So, so I, I, I will just keep it as it is. And then on 16 April, I went to isolation ward. Still a bit cheerful because I'm also a Christian. So whether good things happen to me is a blessing. If bad things happen to me, is a learning lesson. To me, it's a learning lesson. That means there must be something for me to learn. And on 25th of April, I went home. I was so happy, I went home. But I could not speak properly. I could not think properly because it's a brain thing, right? And of course, I, I can't write properly. And more, more importantly, I can't walk. And I thought I'm home, that's good. But unfortunately, in May, very shortly in May, I was admitted one more time. This time it's to Anting Fong because I was trying to get my handphone and I fell and I have a cut. So I went back to the hospital again. But this time it's only for one week, discharge after five days. Still, I can't speak properly, I can't think properly, and I cannot write properly. And of course, I can't walk. So now you see me walking, <laughs> it's through a lot of hard work, okay? <laughs> so I have to go for my speech therapy. I go go for my occupational therapy to help my thinking and also writing and physiotherapy. So these are people in the St. Luke Hospital who has helped me. And interestingly, after the rehab at St. Luke Hospital, I graduated. And I didn't know they give awards for graduation. <laughs> so I have the award for achiever because from not being able to stand, I was able to stand. I'm happy and healthy. Basically, I'm quite a positive person. So you can see that I'm happy and healthy. I'm working very hard to, to, to recover and I'm resilient. So they say even thunderstorm, I will still be there for my therapy. Okay. And after that, I didn't stop. I went on to continue with gym tonic. Gym tonic is, is a, a, a session recovery session in NTUC Health. And I have to work with five machines, five machines, okay? So on 11, on 1st of November, I managed to get all A's for the six, five machines. <laughs> and I was very happy, A. <laughs> so this is a milestone for myself to tell myself I'm on the road to recovery. Continue, 
Don't give up, continue. Basically, NTUC Health Gym Tonic helped me to regain my muscle strength. So these are the two trainers who really helped me a lot. For example, I, I told him, telling the trainer Kim Yong, hey, if I fall down, how to get up? Huh? I don't know how to get up. No? So he gave me some tips how to get up. So I learned how to get up without anybody helping. Huh? Okay? Because when you fall down outside, nobody could help you. And of course, uh, the wonderful thing in the recovery is that I realized I got so many friends. And even my school teacher, this was school teacher, <laughs> I left school how many years, 30 over years already. <laughs> and he came and visit me. So I know I have many friends. So this whole episode helped me to realize my friends are still with me. And my associate came to visit, visit me and even invited me out. So for someone who's sick and alone, it is very important for friends to be around you, to support you. And so, you see, I, because I've got so many friends, I've become very happy. And I look forward every time I go out. <laughs> because they were. And you see me on a wheelchair here, right? Okay. I went with my wheelchair. Okay. So it has been a long journey until I, until I finished on finished my strength training. And that's where I told myself, Lord, what is the next thing I should do? I'm not going to continue just going for exercise, right? What is the next thing I should do? Please show me. And that's where I happened to saw Dr. Timothy Lau's posting in LinkedIn. And I responded to him. I said, is it true? <laughs> <laughs> and he was very nice. He actually responded to me. He said, yes, I'll separately talk to you. <laughs> and so he talked to me. And he recommended three, three patches for me because of my condition. So I started with X39 on my back, Aeon on my tummy, four fingers below my belly button, and energy enhancer. Okay. So, so I took that faithfully. I, you know I'm very hardworking. Huh? I continuously faithfully do my work. Okay. All right. So up to today. So November 18, 23, I was on a wheelchair. That's my husband and me. And... 20th June recently, I'm able to stand up and I took a photo with him. <laughs> Thank you, it's very encouraging. <laughs> so I have X39 stem, stem cells activation and now this is the solution I'm looking for. So it was very easily. When Dr. Tin told me about it, I said, yes, on. I'm on ready. <laughs> I didn't even have, need him to convince me or bring me to a seminar like this, okay? I just, on. Um, that's because of this what I'm looking for. Something that helped my body, use my own stem cells, use my own body to heal myself. So, I continue with that. And then these are the two that I use at night. Energy enhancer, like for today, I do put in my energy enhancer my, on my foot so that I can stand up and can walk. What's the lessons learned? Remember, just like I said, bad things or good things, I will always think of how it is like. One thing for sure, healing takes time. So be patient. Be patient. All right? And trust God in His plan. Because I'm Christian, I trust God in His plan. All His plan must be good for me. <laughs> okay? And of course, I must say that prayers really work. Because especially from family, associate, friends, even my customer prayed for me. My customer. And my customer will say, I waited for you for two years. Huh? You better come back and teach my staff certain things. And I was really very thankful. No? So when I, as I recovered, I, I got a lot of jobs waiting for me. Well, God is good. Okay? And friend visitation is most, is most important because I feel very encouraged each time they come and see me. So if you're a friend who's suffering for something, a disease or, or whatsoever, go and visit them. It's very important. They need that friendship. They need that care. And uh, of course, my family support is very important. My husband will wake up three to five times a night to help me, to attend to my needs. I think usually anyone get angry, right? Three to five times a night, no? you, someone must wake up to take care of your needs. But he never complained. He never complained. He's very happy to do it for me. He tells me, if you need me, just, just call me. <laughs> so I thank you very much for living up to his marriage vows for better or for worse. Okay? <laughs> and, and this was the worst situation. Okay? <laughs> and, and so the doctor asked him, who's going to take care of your wife? He said, him. 
<laughs> and then and then everybody say, no, I don't think so. You better think again. So he says, really? Uh, yeah, okay. So he thought again and decided to look for a helper. And so my helper came. Nini, that's my helper. <laughs> You know, it's very difficult to get helper, right? And I got one that is perfect here, you know? She's so caring, she's so de de uh, dependable, and he's very, she's very diligent. So I thank God for her. So through this whole journey of two years, I have no income because I didn't work. So I thank God for his provision. Somehow, money come in. <laughs> so in summary... Although it has been a tough journey for me, but it has made it easier with the love and prayers of friends and family. And of course, constant assurance from the Lord that He will keep me going. Okay, So I pray that the Lord will use me moving forward to be a blessing to others. Thank you. Thank you, Lai Chan. Come on, round of applause. Okay. Okay, we got one more sharer, yeah? And it is none other than our Desmond Pay. Yeah. Now <clears throat> come 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 Desmond, come. Yeah. So by the way, uh, Desmond Pei, uh, just now you may have seen, you know, that I, I first met him 12 September 2023 up at the Roof Terrace. And I tell you, uh, he was the one who gave me the most interesting time. <laughs> but I am glad, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, he won't be here. Otherwise, if I had not answered the questions, you know, that he was looking at, you know, probably he won't be here today. But I'm so glad that he is here and he will tell you why. I'm going to hand the floor over to him right now. Round of applause for Desmond Pei. If you can hear me, tap 555. This this uh, special call, uh, only though I attend yesterday, Jinong Zoom. Can I have a show of hand to attend? attend uh, okay, good. How, how is your energy today? How, how is your sleep quality? How is your digestion? Duplication, uh, duplication is a key uh, to, to build your team and create system income. Ladies and gentlemen, business partner, good afternoon. My name is Desmond Pei. I'm a PC, uh, PC not personal computer. I'm a patch consultant. <laughs> Today, uh, I'm very excited uh, why we got a number of doctors in Nightwave to be our consultant. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> and then, I also got 50 of my business partners with me today. Give them a applause. Okay, now just starting <laughs> agenda. I will talk about my, I think I follow doctor also must stand that side. <laughs> Duplication. Uh. My background, I will talk about my challenge. I got a lot of challenge. How I grow my team. Okay, myself, very simple, 20 years in the army, 20 years in AIA insurance, and then five years with Atomi. I really enjoy the company. Okay, my challenge, uh, number one is my health. Because I got, I got bypass, during bypass, I got stroke. Also, same problem, I uh, cannot talk, cannot walk. Also a lot of problem. 
Okay, my family, and then talking about my belief system, these are all my challenges. This one was uh, in 2022. You see my lower link, 80% of block. And then I was in the hospital for 75 days. Hospital is very scary. Uh. I got stroke uh, during bypass. After patching, uh, the X39 Aeon, my blood pressure get very good. 172, that was three months uh, in January 2024. And then three months later, it dropped to 126. X39 Aeon really can help you, but you must have the patient. Uh. Eh? Sorry. Okay. After eight months of practice, uh, why? Because my stem cell only 5%. 5% <laughs> that means I must use for six months. The first people, you saw this is a recent one. Uh, I'm in the MRT. Six months ago, I, inside MRT, uh, I need to wait for the train to be stopped permanently. I cannot stand up. Uh, I stand up, uh, I, can, I can fall down. Uh. Why? Because now i walking uh, is inside the boat. I, I not steady, steady, same problem. <laughs> and then the next one, uh, 17 of June, the last holiday, my children bring me to East Coast to go and cycle. I cycle for 45 minutes. Of course, it's very strong. Uh. Okay, my bigger challenge is belief system. Because of my health, uh, my family, my last business, uh, I lost 50,000 50, in the bus because I was in the hospital. I cannot clear the stock. Life wave, you no need to stock up. Uh. And then because I lost 50,000, when I tell my family I want to join life with, they got family meeting. Uh. <laughs> of course, uh, all my two children, they are getting it. Uh. They're very good. They say, hey, daddy, I no need your money. Uh. You already got stock. You must stay at home and rest. And then, sorry, uh, yeah. I overcome all the objections through faith and belief system. To me, very simple. You don't just listen. Even Dr. Talk also don't listen. You might go and check. You go and check. Huh? You go and check. Then what happened? You go and go uh, YouTube. How come you U.S. got so many doctors also distributing live wave? Correct or not? And then, I, and then my family problem Okay, why live wave? I also got three eyes, uh, our right timing. The timing is very good. Right products. I no need to explain. Uh, we listen to the doctors. Uh. <laughs> Luckily, uh, our CEO never say uh, you must have a doctor license, then you can become an agent. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. And then you're talking about the right, right thing, uh, right thing. Uh. You find that the timing is, is right. Why? The last three years, uh, you got 480%. Uh. The timing is very important. Because the last platform, uh, I go invest money, then I go to hospital, all the money gone. They don't like me. Eh? 
or I need to stay near, nearer. Okay. Cannot click. Yeah. Okay, how to how to be be a uh, group? Uh, you talk about uh, system and discipline. And then you look at system discipline uh, stand for what? Uh, SD, uh, senior director. Uh. Okay, system, uh, no need to be too worried. All these are uh, 4 number. numbers. Uh. <laughs> you come Friday, five, five uh, Lawrence will talk to 331-275-642. Uh, we got the best system, but what happened? You must have the discipline. Uh. If you don't have discipline, uh, you cannot make it. Uh. It's, it's to, to be, uh, it's up to me. Uh. We got the best system. Now it's only yourself, whether you want or do you want. Uh. Vincent talked about a lot of money. I agree with him because I'm also a businessman. Uh. We are not like doctor. Doctor, they are hard very good. Doctor, uh, CEO got a lot of money. <laughs> you just think, uh, if they come in not because of money, then why they come in? Because they want to help more people. Okay, how I go, my team are uh, very interesting. I got three C. Uh. Create value through Q and A. Even doctor also must have hot hotline. Uh. My members also ask a lot of questions, but he responds very good. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Create the environment. And then companionship. Pay upon your, your people. And then within uh, eight months, uh, you find that I now I got about 300 business partners. Uh, 300. <laughs> so, our zero zero two uh, stay. If I go very big, I can retire. <laughs> okay, you find that what I do uh, every day. I only drink coffee with my people. Uh. Every day, uh, from Tuesday to Saturday. Uh. Then what we do? You only companionship. Uh, drink coffee. Uh, correct. So simple. But you must have the discipline. If you want to be su successful, uh, you only need to be disciplined. Why? Because I'm in 20 years. Uh. Uh, very interesting. What I do, uh, I got a session Q&A and coffee. Because people don't like meeting, they don't like quota. Uh, quota. So I change to Q&A, uh, then coffee. Uh, then you see very interesting. Uh. I thought they are here to relax, drink coffee, and coffee only. What happened? Computer to handphone. Eh? <laughs> because you create the right environment. And this is the next star. Uh, using uh, my two director. The younger one left 5%. Mr. Mr. William, where are you? A oh, toilet lah. Left 2%. <laughs> but how come ah, when the stem cells so little, they still got so much passion eh? <laughs> so don't go, go and give me a skill ah. you are, you are old ah. no a skill lah. It's <laughs> jump Okay, then this one. This one, I'm uh, my senior director to be. 
They are now directed. They try very serious. Uh. <laughs> okay, you find that what happened? Uh, this one I very happy to have Marka with them. We got SPD James 001 and our SPD Lawrence 002. They are my mentor. Going to finish soon, no need to worry. <laughs> zero, zero, 001 uh, take only nine months, uh, nine months to become SPD. Uh. SPD, I tell you, not easy, uh, but they, got, they know how to do. And then number two, also not bad. Take 22 months, Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> and then I realized, uh, I realized, when I mark on, uh, I realized, Lawrence uh, also left hander. Uh. James also left hander. Uh. They are all SPD. Uh. Let me share you a secret. I also left hander. Uh. <laughs> so you find that it's my chances very high. But no need to worry. Uh. Only got two of them. The rest of the SPD all right hander. You got a lot of opportunity. Yeah. Okay, now come to the silver part. As you say, SPD, yeah, you must have the courage to dream. This is very important. Yeah. You want to create a system income, you must dare to dream. Yeah. Never ask you to do, just dream only SPD. <laughs> But you must got the courage to tell the whole world. Yeah. If you don't tell, uh, you cannot make it. Uh. Then, second step, very simple. Action. Just do it. Don't give excuse. Uh, this is uh, the report. Uh, last year's report. How much the SPD make? Okay, you find that they take 24 months on the average. Uh. Those top ones, uh, they make 2 million a year. I don't want to be so tamsim. Uh. I made one year, uh, maybe 500,000 will do it. Uh. Okay, two types of mindset. This is very important. Number one, 5% believe first and see. That's why only 5%. Why? The rest is 95%. They want to see, then they believe. They will ask you uh, how much you earn. Correct? No? People keep asking. They don't believe. Uh. Then the worst is what? They see, uh, they still don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> so you find that the power of believing... Uh, if you dare to believe, this will be yours. Uh. Even you mean, means, uh, you go to this East Coast also very nice. Uh. <laughs> okay, how we start? You no need to be expert to start. You no need to be a PhD. You no need to be a doctor to start. Uh. But you must start to become expert. Even doctors also need to go and patch people because we are all still very new. Agree or not? Start achieving your dream and leaving a legacy behind. When your spend out is still 50%, don't wait until you left 5%. But even I only 5%, uh, the system is so good, the patch is so, so powerful. I also can make it, uh, just give me a bit of time. Uh. Okay, I pledge, uh, I pledge. You must have the courage to tell every paper. 
Those my team, uh, you remember see me with my pledge. Uh. I want to become SPD by 31st of December, 2025. I have fi finally find my life way, the wrong way uh, in life way for 50, 10 years. I was waiting for a platform like life way, waited for 10 years, uh, but luckily I still got 5%. With the S39 Aeon now, I minus eight years, so I'm younger now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Desmond. Well done. Let's give him another round of applause. Isn't it fantastic? Okay, uh, we are coming very close to our uh, end of the session. But before Jonas... Hello, hello. Before Jonas... Before Jonas come in to do the closing, uh, something to say. Now, today you have seen this since uh, three hours ago. Until now, how do you find it? Good? Okay, let's clap. Now, what we are sitting down here, we are enjoying, we are understanding a lot of things happening. But behind all this hard work, you know who has put in a lot of hard work? It's our Mr. Jonas. Let's give him the maximum applause. Okay. He has spent at least the last one month preparing all these slides, getting all the questions, setting up everything. Okay? He has eye pain, left eye, right eye pain along the way, right? <laughs> then somehow he also got migraine, pretty bad along the way. So, but our patches help him. So we really appreciate his effort to put everything today. Okay? Let's him do the closing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it wasn't only eye pain. <laughs> yeah, I was also very grouchy, and that one, you know, I had to apologize to my wife. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> um, just give me another five minutes or so, right? Um, I hope that everyone has enjoyed the session so far. Every single segment, I hope that it has added value to you. Did it add value for you? Yes. Okay, <clears throat> now some of you could be asking already, yeah. Uh, Hey, now like that, how to start? Yeah, um, and along the way, we already mentioned by some uh, various speakers uh, that X thirty nine is something that is the safest. Doctor Tim was also saying, everyone was saying this. It is the safest option. It is the best option for you, and it's so easy to start. But you know, besides ah, okay, why is it the safest also, and why is the best? Uh? Uh, we use the term affordability. We use the term accessibility okay so these two things are very important it also featured in dr tim's um, uh, presentation that affordable and accessible okay it, it's uh, compared of course like okay what are we comparing with uh, we're comparing against stem cell therapy outside right where it is expensive where you have to go to a clinic also to get all these things done but besides x39 if you want to get started these are the two patches uh, again, you know, mentioned by a few of the speakers, including Lai Chan as well, uh, where she mentioned about X39, Aeon, of course, you know, for her, her, her condition, you know, a, a energy enhancer was going to help. So this is the most effective combination that we have, that we found, and we've patched thousands and thousands of people already as a starting point. Um, X39 during the day, Aeon during the evening, uh, because Aeon reduces inflammation, improves sleep, tightens skin. When we did the demonstration, by the way, uh, we patch Aeon. You already saw the power there. Of course, you know, for a few of them, we have to add the, uh, you know, other patches. But for the majority, in fact, you know, the starting point is Aeon. It already helps, you know, um, anyway, between 70 to 75 percent of pain discomfort already. Okay. So it, very affordable. I'm just putting the price here compared again to stem cell therapy, which is more than 10,000. Dr. Tim was mentioning that it could be like 60, 70,000 or even more. Yeah. So that is the cost of stem cell therapy. Now, um, we have our... Oh, okay, correct. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Problem again. 
Ah, okay, it's back on. Wow, for the first time. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so we um, also have our weekly talks at our office, uh, which is at Wood Square. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday are the BOPs. Uh, we call it you know, um, a business overview presentation. And then we have the brand partner trainings on uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, so that is the address. Please come and visit us. Uh, we welcome you with open arms. Now, so this event, uh, you know, should only be the beginning. In fact, you know, we have another event coming out quite soon. This is going to be a large one in KL, where again, we have the pleasure of Dr. Timothy uh, addressing us, uh, um, you know, in that afternoon. Okay, so this is going to be held on the 20th of July, Saturday. Uh, anyone who wants to go with us, you're most welcome to do so. Now, okay, just a few announcements. Eh? Now, the Wood Square one, by the way, eh, is not our corporate office. So, um, we are going to have a new office soon. And this is going to be at the Singpo Centre. Okay, some of them, uh, somebody was looking at me with very big eyes to say, wow, you buy over the Singpo Centre. No, we didn't buy over the Singpo Centre. <laughs> Okay? It's not the entire building. We are occupying one of the units there. Okay? <laughs> but um, we have done so well as a country, LifeWave Singapore, that LifeWave Corporate say you need an office. Yeah? So that is going to happen already September, October 2024. Now, I just want a few, a few just about two more minutes. Yeah? I just want to express my gratitude to everyone here. Um, now, the, the reason why, uh, you know, for me, Okay, hard work uh, is something that is the norm. But the main thing is this, yeah? It is not about me, it is about you. The reason why I put in the work to put this together, and I already had, frankly, right at the beginning, I was like, wow, man, you know, can we do this or not? I wasn't sure. But I think that it is going to be beneficial to everyone who uh, uh, managed to make it here. We have got a video so we can share this as well with so many other people who wanted to come who could not make it, okay? So... We are generally grateful for all our presenters, sharers, and everyone here for coming. And uh, at this point, uh, I just want to thank our presenters, sharers, um, and uh, we have a small gift that we want to, um, you know, to, to give to them. Can we invite all the, the sharers and presenters up on stage? Yeah. And we have Lawrence as our guest of honor to help. Yeah, but okay, so Lai Chan, Desmond, Dr. Tim, Vincent, who else? Jackie, <laughs> myself, <laughs> do I get or not? <laughs> okay, so just the photo session. Okay, okay, so can we have Lawrence to, okay, come. Yeah. Okay. And Dr. Tim? <clears throat> okay, we're just going to take a very quick photo. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Huh? Yeah. Hey, also, uh, as a guest honor, I also give to him. <laughs> Cannot be left out. Cannot be left out. Come, 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 come. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, before you leave, can you kindly... Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, now, um, at, the, at the end of the day, okay, it's this. Uh, sharing is caring, okay, and life wave and live well, it's all about sharing because we care. So we have this unity of purpose, right, that all we want to do to help many people there is just to share with them and to be able to patch them is a privilege, now, why do we call this Live Well X? Okay, now, so X uh, actually for me stands for, number one, it is exclusive. Number two, it is extraordinary because we believe uh, that every one of us here hold the potential 
uh, to be extraordinary people. And anyone here, and your invited guests as well, we believe uh, that we, are, we all have the X factor. Okay? So we have to believe, the belief system is so important that we are the best, that you are the best. So with that, thank you so much.